No, we're just waiting. Gotta let it go through everything. I'll tweet this. There, there's Dabney. Hello. Hello. I think, um, mm, yep. Okay. I've tweeted the tweet. Okay. All things are good. But hello. Hello, Savvy. Hello, Dabney. Uh, Gullible Giraffe, hello, how are you? Wait, no. Gillable? Gillable Giraffe, hello. Hello, friends. This feels different because we're, I'm in a different spot now. I'm in my parents' house in their kitchen. So we are doing that today. It's a cooking with spring episode, spring, whatever you want to call it. Um, where we cook in the kitchen of a different thing. But today... Um, if you want to know what we're cooking today, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat in case you want to know what they are. Um, hopefully everything is all, you know, good because I hope so. Um, but oh, well, I knew Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Eggtart, um, uh, it was hearts pup trip. Hello. Also, Adobe Salt, thank you for the pure ones, by the way, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we're cooking in the kitchen today and we're cooking, um, vegan sweet potato pie. We're cooking egg roll in a bowl and then ribs. And we're also fundraising for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And we're getting very close to 6.1K. 6 we're like $49 away from hitting that goal. But our ultimate goal for the whole month right now is 7K, which is crazy. Um, but welcome in friends. Um... Elaine, mm -hmm. wait, yeah, El Ellen, and then Cookie Goddess, and Hummingbird, and Soccer, and uh, Ch Champion of America, and uh, Miss Jewel, Jules, um, uh, meet her, welcome Ian, how are you? But it's so crazy, I cannot believe we've already raised over $6,000 for, for the kids of St. Jude, this is insane, um, so it's crazy. But, you know, honestly, this is what we needed. We needed wholesome vibes to have some, have some fun and, like, just chill together. Plus, it's Memorial Day weekend, too, so it's kind of a win-win. Cooking in the kitchen with the fam and little funsies. Um, but I know it's insane. We started the month of a goal of $1,000, and now we're at 6000 something dollars, which is crazy. So... Hopefully, um, we hit our goal of 7K. Because at 7K, I said I would do an all-purple Animal Crossing island. And you all know how much I, I really don't like the color purple that much. Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, that is what we're going to do at 7K if we end up reaching it. Um, but Disney Girl, hello. And uh, Tria, welcome in. L, thank you for the reset for 32 months, by the way. But if you don't know who these people are... My mom and my dad here, the ones that birthed me into the world. Um, so we're just, you know, having a little fun. Family time is what we need. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think we could, um, I guess we can get started with the, the stream. Um, the way it's going to go is going to be all over the place, but in a, in a good way. Um, my dad's going to make the ribs, which he has already prepped already and then um we have the egg roll in a bowl with my mom and i'm making the pie so we're going to start with my dad first and let him shine um yeah my mom does love purple she calls it the royalty royal yeah <laughs> um your sims had an in in intense infant oh no you have to leave abort mission <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to do all that today. So, um, I will hand it over to you. Okay. Speaking of ribs, my ribs is done by the Instant Pot. I'm just going to walk over there and just show you what I got. Not on the grill, too hot out there right now in the Midwest, if you know what I mean. So, start my ribs. Like I said, it's all we're going to prep. As you see right here in the bag. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is take. I'm going to use some vegetable um, broth in my instant pot. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put, put the uh, 
brought in the, in the um, instant pot. We're going to put it up to about the lower part of the rack that we have here. That was it. Make sure you're all taking notes. If you want to know what recipes we're using, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat. Um, and speaking of, you know, before I have to, uh, have to prep my ribs and everything, is oh. I prep my ribs is later on I give you um, the spices and stuff that I use as far as ribs are concerned. And yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> I, I wash them and scrub them so they're clean. So I can pick my meat up just as it is. And like I said, I'll give you the uh, recipe later on. Anyway. That looks really good. My dad really loves making ribs all the time. Um, so it's kind of like a, a staple that we always end up making them. And they are delicious. If you love ribs... Very good. <laughs> and like I said, the quickest way I, you know, the, when we got the instant pot, I said, let's I just Google, Google, and I Google everything. Everything I do, if I don't know, you know, I don't want to ask questions, I just ask uh, Google or go to YouTube and just basically ask plain, just uh, plain, plain, uh, a plain language. Uh, have you said, put it in that, in that, don't worry about the format and everything else. Just ask the question. Yeah, Google is like the best resource there is, I have to say. You love one of new Instant Pot recipes? Oh, it's amazing. So, um, oh. Let me go wash my hands and go right back. Okay, cool. Um, let me go over here. There we go. So, basically, um, Instant Pots are really fun because, uh, what my dad has taught me is that if you, like, love love rice, what he does, he does like two cups of brown rice and then three cups of like chicken broth or vegetable broth for about 14 minutes or so. On your instant pot, mine is always preset. Oh, okay. Well, that's another way to cook rice in the instant pot. It's really, really good. Also, Crystal May, welcome in. And also, newspaper, hello, how are you? Um, okay, let me go back to the camera. And back to me. <laughs> there he is. Awesome. So how long does the, mm -hmm. the ribs take? Um, you still on pressure cook, I'll go ahead and press the pressure. The pressure setting on the instant pot. This is a eight eight quart um size um, pressure pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my it says thirty minutes as far as pressure cooking, but I don't want my ribs my meat to fall off the bone. So I'm going to bring it down to say 26, actually 25. And that, that's good enough so the meat can naturally at least stay on the bone. And then once it comes out, you'll see it at the end part. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven and let it and put it on broad for gazing. Awesome. And that's that. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. And that's how you make the ribs. Um, this you'll, is great. You'll see the end product afterwards, after it comes out. You'll see how I trans transport it over to my, uh, my plate, which parchment paper. Parchment paper is better than foil for me. Yeah. Easy to clean up, and easy to go ahead and dis discharge or whatever, but you don't have to worry about burning or anything sticking to the bottom part of your pan or your meat. So, I promote Oh yeah, parts and paper is definitely way better for sure. Um, I don't like using foil that much either, so makes sense. Also, Kenya and Tabiko, hello. Um, your dad loves to make ribs as well. Also loves to make jerky. Ooh, jerky sounds cool. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah. What is that? Oh, the trash can's over here. If you need it. Um, I was confused for a minute on how cute, uh, cute this is. Ribs uh, in the instant pot is a game changer. Oh, 100%. Yes. But yeah, I'm cooking with my parents today because usually I'm 
cooking alone in my own kitchen in my apartment but um i thought it'd be a good change to uh one change of scenery and plus it's just fun to have a friendly fun time oh i'm so sorry to hear about all your mods and cc being gone that's not good but hopefully you'll be able to find them again if you need any help we have a bunch of mods that um i tend to download a lot oh let's look like my shirt it's a uh, saint jude play live shirt it says play more play for more than bragging rights as honestly it's what i, I love i'll definitely try the rib i'll see tomorrow yes definitely um but yeah so that was the ribs so i guess next it might go very quick with all the stuff that we're doing since it's three of us instead of one person um so um the next thing we can definitely do, we have to make the pie. I We've made this before, the vegan sweet potato pie, like two months ago, if you remember. The VOD's on YouTube if you want to go watch it. Um, but the last time we did it, the dough didn't turn out so well. Um, but that's fine. We still ate it. It was all gone in like three days. Um, but we're going to make the sweet potato pie. But my mom is going to make the dough. So. Oh, you can dog if you want to. <laughs> I'm praying. Oh, <laughs> okay. She need help. We all need help, honestly. Let's be real here. Um, <laughs> you're still walking with my fork and whipped cream. Okay. The door is open. Everyone's invited. We'll hopefully have enough slices for everyone. <laughs> um, okay. We already have the potatoes washed and everything to go. We just have to peel them. So do you want to start the uh, next step for the pie? Sure, I can do that. Okay. And we can go and start peeling potatoes. Yeah. So while my mom cuts or does the dough, we'll be able to, me and my dad will cut the uh, potatoes here they go, that's better. Perfect, okay. Me and my dad are going to peel the potatoes and get that done while we kind of get all that stuff ready to go. <laughs> Mom, for, to the crust rescue? Yes. Honestly, crust is not my favorite thing. Making it from scratch is a lot harder just because it's a little bit different. Um, oh, you do have a backup from a couple years ago. Okay, good. Also, Katie Curry, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're doing good this fine afternoon. Or I guess, yeah, I guess afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Um, yeah, we're making vegan sweet potato pie. I got the recipe from um, uh, this one place on, on the internet called Nora Cooks. I love Nora Cooks because they have a lot of vegan recipes. Oh, you can put it over there. Oh, I need to move the camera, sorry. Yeah. And we're all using like uh, vegan uh, ingredients too. And Flora, welcome in. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Um, so yeah, so it's a definitely a family affair. We, we love cooking in the kitchen together. It's our favorite pastime. Um, but how are you all doing though? I hope you're all doing great on this Sunday. Any plans? And you're doing good. I'm so glad you're doing good. I think my parents are great. I think they're doing okay. I think yep, so. Yep, yep, yep. We went to church. I stayed here because I had to <laughs> prep everything around here. Um, but it was good. It's not too hot. It's, I think it's like 79 or something like that. It's supposed to be in the 90s this week. Um, Being in the Midwest or something else. Oh yeah, the Midwest is awful. <laughs> I, w I always say that I want to move, but I'd rather not. Everywhere else is too expensive, so I'll just stay here. <laughs> um, also, uh, you noon, welcome in, how are you? Good afternoon. Um, 
found you a really good floor. Thank you for asking. I had a good morning. I kind of woke up this morning feeling a little bit iffy because I, I woke up as we always do. We don't feel the best, but pretty good. Can't complain. Um, but if you want to know what we're making today in the kitchen, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat in case you want to know. Um, oh, you did? Oh, cool. Yeah, you can put a post in the Discord, in the arts channel. Feel free. Oh, uh, taking a break. Nice. I think it's important to take breaks when needed. Um, Lulu, hello. How are you? I am terrible at pulling potatoes. Oh, exams start tomorrow. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You've got this new place newspaper. Oh. I think exam season's supposed to end soon. Because everyone's going to be graduating. Is it a subject that you don't like? Or, or are, like, are you fully prepared for it? But I say, if you're nervous and stressed, take a deep breath. Say you've got this. It'll all be okay. It'll be over before you know it. I just say, take it one step at a time. Hmm? No. Oh, that's good. Oh, you just opened up Nora Cooks. I love Nora Cooks. I think we have made... It was the sweet potato pie, and then I had made something else from that website I can't remember. It might have been lemon pound cake, I think. And that was very nice. I found some donut recipes on there that I want to try. Um, I'm officially in your last year of college. Ooh! exciting hmm. remind me Maddie what were what are you studying in school because I I feel like you've told me a billion times but I always forget time is wild um <laughs> maybe I don't know oh what's everyone's favorite food to have your sons make mac and cheese <laughs> Cause they can't cook anything else i swear sims do not know how to cook and i don't understand why they could be level 10 skill in gourmet cooking or regular cooking and still start a fire and still all we have to fire is tincture in the kitchen yep oh there we go that's a bit better no i'm good you're basic and you have them make <laughs> I don't know, uh, Jules, do you have the Realm of Magic pack? Because that pack is great because you can have a cauldron. I need to move the um, mixer. Oh, you need a... The outlet. Oh, sorry, Anna. Yeah. Well, I didn't think either. Um, but with the Realm of Magic pack, you can um, get a cauldron, and it makes mac and cheese up to 12 servings, and it never spoils. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not the garden salad. Oh my goodness. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay. Mine is ready. Go ahead and slide in the pot and let it boil. Oh yeah, we gotta put the water in. You need to use that. Yeah, it's very good to use the cauldron for the um, 100 baby challenge too, as well. Secondary English education with a minor in communications and an endorsement in speech. And you're going to be, uh, oh, wait, that's right. Well, that's going to be very fun for you. I'm excited, Maddie. Okay. There this, we go. This might take a bit. Yeah, you're good enough. That part came off good. There we go. Can you see me? No. Yeah, they can see you. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Well, they can see your hands. That's right, but that's what. You can talk also. Yeah. While you're doing, while you're prepping. Oh, it is. 
But what's your favorite food, Ben, that you like to make a lot? Egg roll in a bowl. <laughs> Egg mm. roll in a bowl. What a time. Oh, all good, all good, G. Enjoy the rest of your time with your yard work. We'll just be here chilling, cooking the night away. I got some stuff in my yard. You can come over and help me. <laughs> oh, that would be great. You make your, you have your sons make eggs and toast. That's a good recipe. I got another good recipe. Also using uh, white bean chicken chili. White bean chicken chili. And uh, I utilize my crescent roll uh, casserole I can make. Also with uh, sausages, maple maple sausages, along with two uh, rolls of crescent roll, egg, cheese. They put a little pepper and stuff in. Some people call Sorry, it quiche, but that's an easy, easy, easy tasted. fix, and it tastes great too. Better, better than going to Burger King. That's true. I'm gonna try this okay. one. Yeah, this right here. It, it comes out good. Yeah, I don't want to use this one because I remember I cut my finger on this one right here, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like a frittata? Oh, like the, um, what's it called? The, um. Okay. This is good. That's a thing. Oh, by the way, Maddie, thank you for the 20, well, $26.40, by the way, to say thank you. Cute. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. You took Max to the vet, and he okay. is, what? Thank you, thank you so much. Oh wait, he's 26.4 pounds of cute. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. What kind of, um, what kind of, uh, breed is your, your, um, your pet? I would love to know. Also, yeah, we're doing a cooking stream today. We're cooking a lot of things in the kitchen. So it's a little bit wild, but good wild, I would say. Yes, the pot is in. And now it's, it's sealed. A, now it's a going. Yeah, we're only $922.60 away until an all purple island. So if anyone has like a spare, you know, $222, you know, that would be cool. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, take care of yourself first, first of all, honestly. Feel free. Um, but say that hello. How are you? Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, good. I'm... Something about me, I'm terrible at peeling potatoes. Well, sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes can be a little bit tricky. Okay. okay. Some off and put them in. Yep. Okay. Do I need to put this on the dough? Lots of noise. Now, what's that thing say? Clean up, clean up. <laughs> clean up, clean up. Everybody, do your share. I'm too chicken to try to make sweet potato pie because my mom is so, is so good. Um, and she does, does it to taste, so no recipe. Mm. That's a good way to, of doing it too. Sometimes we don't follow recipes, we just end up kind of going by taste as well. That's only usually after you've done it quite a bit and then you know you're trying different spices and things like that, so. That makes sense. Remember, those numbers are a guide. 
like when it says salt, I always use less or none, and it tastes great to me. Mm -hmm. Same way with um, sriracha or any kind of hot spices. Do what's good for you and good to your body. That's true. Um, oh, Max is a puff mix with a mystery breed. Oh. You want a plate? There's room for, there's enough for everyone. Okay. That might last a day or two. Um, but yeah, an all purple island in Animal Crossing if we hit $7,000 um, for St. Jude. We have until Wednesday. We can do it. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, what are you doing with the little potato skins? Um, throwing them away in the trash. <laughs> um, okay, so now what's next for that? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll put the water in the saucepan so that way the um, potatoes can sit and get softer for like the next 12 to 15 minutes or so. And now we're just kind of just waiting. Um, yes, with salt, you put, put it in no more than a half of the recipe asked for. Yeah, I realize I don't do a lot of salt in my recipes that much anymore. Um, or a soy sauce. you're more into the egg roll in a bowl. Oh, that will be towards the end of the stream. I think once we kind of get the pie in the oven, that's when um, my mom's gonna do the egg roll in a bowl and I think they're all gonna like it. Oh, after a Skyrim character, Arissa or something like that, wants to say hi. Oh, that's so nice. Also, much love. Thank you for the $100 donation to St. Jude. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And voting for Bone Hilda in the poll. By the way, if y'all don't know, <laughs> we are raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And every week we have a different poll of like, what is better? So this poll, as you can see right here, Bone Hilda's winning by a lot of money, which is very cool. I think we've said it yesterday and the day before that Bone Hilda's gonna outlive us all at this point. So, yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. But now we're at $6.1,000, so we can now hit the lovely buzzer. Um, you wanna hit it? Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> I have like I think I have three of those buttons. I listen to you. I, I got you just right. Let me try it one more time. That was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. New toy. <laughs> yeah, new toy. My dad has a fidget spinner, and I I don't know where mine is at. Wait, no. My fidget spinner is at, at my apartment in a drawer somewhere. <laughs> I can't figure out what happened to my, my spinner. I don't know. It was on the table somewhere. I forget where you put it. Let me see. Somebody moved it. You just got here cooking stream? Yeah, it's like though we are cooking in the kitchen with my parents. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're just having a little fun time in the kitchen, having some chill fun. Um, we're making three different things today. We're making um, egg roll in a bowl, and then we're also making vegan sweet potato pie, and then uh, ribs. We already did the ribs in the Instapot, and it like, has like 20 more minutes left to cook anyway. We're almost there. <laughs> New toy for dad. Oh my gosh. Yes. I think I have I have this one and I have the other one in my backpack. I can't remember the other one. Oh look, there's his fidget spinner. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can put it right there on this side. <laughs> the yep. fidget spinner. Yeah, it's my camera. It glitches sometimes. I have not played with my fidget spinner in a long time. It helps. 
Meditation. Yes. Break. <laughs> Sometimes I put it in my ear. Oh, that also does help too. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so this camera, like this camera right here is my webcam. It glitches sometimes and I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, I'll have to figure something out, but it happens from time to time. Huh? Oh. You just like this. Okay. Oh, let me turn to camera. You want me to come over there or no? No, you're good. Um, yes. Okay. So my mom's about to, um, pour the dough into a bowl and then soon we can have it over here to um that's a good thing that it sticks like that that's a good thing yeah okay. she's about to pour the dough into the bowl and then eventually we'll have to roll it out to make it to into a thing for the uh what do you call it <laughs> the pie crust um you still have yours somewhere too I feel like fidget spinners are making a comeback, honestly. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, nonetheless, it has been great. Um, you love my parents' energy? My parents are great. I said it the other day. My parents are really awesome. They're really cool people. Hopefully it doesn't help to catch like Kayla's dad. Let's hope not. That would be bad. Um, but if he does, I have another one. It's all good. <laughs> mm. Hulk smashing the button. Imagine. Um, but yeah. If you want to know what we're making today, um, you can do exclamation point recipes. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Savvy. <laughs> um, you made that was Savvy. Yeah, that was hey. Savvy. <laughs> um, yeah, we're doing a baking stream today. We're making the three things today. Fun time for with the parents. <laughs> Honestly, my mods are wild. They make me do crazy things. But you know what? That's okay. But they help with the streams a lot because I don't know half of my commands at all. And they're usually at their computers with all the things. And I'm like, I don't know what my command is. It's like, what's my command again? Can we edit this one? <laughs> Uh, Sandy, hello. It's good seeing you. I hope you're doing well. Um, this one? Yeah. So this one. There we go. I am not. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we were talking about movies the other day on stream, and they mentioned a bunch of, like, classics that they really like. I was mentioning that HBO Max now is just called Max, yeah. so they have um, a bunch of, like, uh, not TLC, but uh, a lot of uh, black and white movies like Thin Man and uh, Music Man. So it's pretty cool. Also, Katie, thank you for the $23 donation, by the way, to St. Jude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, voting for Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda, I swear. Bone Hilda's going to out Elizabeth all. Someone should do a Bone Hilda cosplay. That'd be funny. Um, I love how Steven ignored my comment to see how it is. Listen, I can't see everything. <laughs> what did you say? Also, Sammy, hello. It's good seeing you. And I'm glad you like my shirt. Dab's an angel? I don't know. <laughs> uh, would you ever play Bendy uh, in the ink machine? Why does that sound so familiar? Isn't Bendy like a horror game? Because I can't remember. I've seen, I've seen that thing before. I don't know what it is. Oh, we also hit 6.2. Thank you. Who wants to hit the button? You want to hit the button? I can't. Okay, I'll hit the button then. 6.2K, <laughs> let's go. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I find like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh no, but yeah, I've seen, oh, no, no. I think I've seen Momo play some horror game that you're like in a playground and it's horrifying. I don't know. I see my friend Momo Misfortune play a lot of scary games. They're pretty cool. You love you some black and white movies, Betty Davis and Joan yes, Crawford. Yes, yes. My parents love black and white movies, honestly. 
And Robin, hello. How are you doing today? It's good seeing you. Hope you're doing Bogey well. Bogey and McCall, great movies. Wait, which one? Bogey and McCall. Bogey and McCall. Humphrey Bogart. Hmm. Lauren McCall. McCall. Catherine Hepburn. Oh, yeah. Audrey Hepburn. I think they're making, like, not a documentary or, or they're doing something with um, Mary Tyler Moore on HBO Max. Oh, great. I read that somewhere and I can't remember where. Um, Allie G, hello. It's good seeing you today. Um, I'm doing really good. We're making a lot of things right now. My mom's doing the dough right Get now. It. Get it. Well, if you want to move it over here, you can so you have a better surface for rolling. Yes, I will. I was trying to get it. Oh, yeah. So no, it ain't too much. Um, but we're doing pretty good. We're making a sweet potato pie right now. The ribs are in the Instapot right now. We have 13 minutes left of that. And the potatoes are currently boiling in the pot. So, so pretty much by the time the ribs are done, the potatoes will be done as well. <laughs> Which will be really cool. Um, let me put over here. Um, there we go. Casablanca. I've heard of that. I, you know. Yes. I've heard of Casablanca from uh, Gilmore Girls, and that's literally it. Oh, I forgot to put a flower. Oh. <laughs> Oh, if you could bring that over. Uh-uh, the, uh, this. Sorry, I'll I can't just, talk today. I'll just use that. That's a, okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that? What did I see? Um, first time here. Oh, uh. Oh, wait, how do you say that? Destined for Sadness. Okay, I was like, I almost said Denise at first, but Destined <laughs> for Sadness, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Philadelphia Story is your favorite? Hmm. What time is the... Uh-oh. Oh, what time is it for me? Oh, it's currently 1.37 p.m. right now for me, right now. USA Central time. Yes, yeah, Central. Oh, we're making sweet potato pie. Vegan I'm trying to get pie. the crust together so it can roll. Yeah. This is special. <laughs> if you ever want to, like, make it, you can. It's a very fun recipe. It's from noracooks.com. Alice Angel is a character inspired by Betty Boop. You'll have to play. I'll look into it. Um, what do you Lord. think of the max menu? I don't, I don't know if my parents have looked at, have you looked at the new HBO Max layout? No. It's, <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. Like when you're, when you're scrolling, um, mm -mm. for like your certain row, like you're on a certain row, but you can only see half of the title and it's very weird. Hmm. So when you have to go down and go up, did you see the full thing? I don't know. They, they need to like reword or not reword, but restructure the there UI of that because it's a little bit messy like i'm making yeah <laughs> also what is i need to i need to get rid of that command <laughs> I don't know why what I i'm actually doing in my hand now is trying to keep my hands cool because the more that you touch it so i probably should have pulsed it a little bit more um in the processor but nevertheless it's going to come together it's going to be good yeah i had the vegan butter and i had the shortening and it was cold um, but it's very warm here in the kitchen, so I gotta yeah. work fast. Can I have just a tidbit more flour? Oh, tidbit. Yeah. Also, I'm not vegan at all. I just, I just make a lot of vegan food because it tastes good and it's fun to make. I heard a great, great, great <laughs> quote yesterday. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Um, eat as close as possible to the tree as you can. Yeah. Meaning more plants in your um, meals, the better. Doesn't mean you have to go 100% all out vegan or vegetarian. But if you just add one, um, one more vegetable to a meal each day, then you get to one meal that is totally plant-based until you get to where you've just adding more. You can never go over on vegetables. No. Okay. That's the um, thing. 
and we all can add. So, you know, I'm going on this um, where I've been adding um, like a meal a week that's totally vegan. And then I got to a meal a day that, uh, I shouldn't say vegan. The word is plant-based for me, plant-based. Yeah. Where everything came from a plant. My family so. history? I mean, my dad's in charge of that. He knows more about the family history than I do. Um, I mean, I don't know, to be honest, to answer that question, but I would assume so. Um, oh, thank you so much. My mom's very pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanted to roll? Yeah, we're ready to roll. Okay. Since my hands are kind of funky. So just, ooh. Ooh. This is going to be special. Wait, do I need flour on this? Yeah. Oh, on the yeah, on the thing? thing? Yeah, yeah, that too. I'm yeah. sorry. Now you can roll it. Because it's going to take a minute. Um, awesome. Yeah. To um, get this where it's a nice doughy ball. Yeah. So it will roll nicely. You know what? My mom's recipes... Um, uh, my sisters have most of them. I, I was not the cook of the family, so I'm always looking for quick and easy, but I do appreciate homemade. Um, my mom could do it in her sleep. So I'll be getting some of those recipes, and you'll be seeing some of those from time to time with on Springs um, yeah. shows, cooking shows, and... Um, but yeah, my mom really enjoyed baking. Now she could cook too. Like this, what I'm doing right now, she would have been done already. Mm -hmm. She would have been done. And because I don't bake a lot, I know, okay, it's coming together. We may have to piece it in there, press it in, and like that's going to be okay too. Like but my what? mom would have had this looking like beautiful. I she like made that. homemade biscuits. She put to shame Pillsbury. <laughs> <laughs> Pillsbury couldn't touch her. So, um... We're getting it together, and the more that you do these things, the better it gets. Because I don't do this all the time. We learn from our mistakes. The last time, we knew everything had to be cold, and it was. So we're getting it slow but sure. Those of yeah. you who bake and do, know how to do crust, I love baking too, but it takes the time I don't have right. So I try to do... Um, things that are quick and easy. So like we probably should have did this like yesterday mm -hmm. and had it because you don't have to make it and roll it out. You could have just kept it. And it's probably because it's warm here in the kitchen. It would have been great if I had to put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so that it could um, kind of mold a little bit better and then make it easier to roll. But nevertheless, we got it this time. We're much better. We have all the ingredients. I am careful. And we're going to... Oh, well, that's okay, because we're going to shape it yeah. in the pan. We're going to shape it. Yeah. So, you know what? Let me get the pan. Yeah. Also, Chrissy and Coupon, hello. Ciabatta dough today. Ooh, ciabatta dough. We're trying to learn how to Ooh, make our own. Ooh, you got a recipe for that? Yeah, we're trying to learn how to make our own bread. Because when you know what's in it, and you can um, pronounce it, <laughs> and you can, <laughs> then best bet, it's good for you. Yes. Um, you're not very good at baker, but I like easy recipes, so we it's have better. To oh yeah. We have to eat too. So this is this is our uh, Sunday dinner. What you're seeing us do, and this is what would be happening in our kitchen. We all get in. Everybody does their favorite thing, and we all get to eat and watch movies or laugh, have a good time, Bible study, whatever we're doing. Exactly. Um, my parents have no pets. Um, We're waiting. <laughs> my dad had a had a dog a long time ago when he was younger, but my mom never had a pet though. I've always wanted one. I've just been so busy that I'm like an all or nothing type of person where I need to have a lot of time to take care of something, or I just won't be able to That's have okay. it. That's okay. We can press him in. We're gonna get this in here and then. Okay. Let me go find the recipe for my fall. Okay, good. Thank you. 
for them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ooh. This is much better, I have to admit. We we got it. I think so. Yeah. But it, it like it's getting warm, so that's why. So if it was cold, it would stick better and roll. Mm. So I don't know. We may have to um, shape it. But well, yeah, we're going to shape it, but I'm trying to get it. If you go under there. <laughs> mm -mm. I love that we have no shame. You're seeing this live, uncut, unedited, whatever, the way that it is. Ooh. But you know what? That's fine. That's good. Okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. What kind of dog was it? Oh, yeah. What kind of dog did you have? Oh, I just had a, a hound. Okay. The name was Peanut. <laughs> peanut. Like the peanuts from, um... Thank you, the gang. Yeah, Charlie. No, thank you, the gang. Thank you. Oh, oh Little Rascals. Little oh, Rascals. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's right. Ooh. Yes. He went to school with us. He took us up from school in the afternoon. And if y'all think this is not pretty, it's okay. Sometimes the ugly, the, the more ugly it is, the better it tastes. But it's going to taste delicious. One, because we know what's in the crust. Two, um, sweet potatoes just are wonderful. So the more um, that the crust is just as natural as it can be, um, the better that the filling so, and besides, who looks at the crust when it, you, after you cut it and it's on your plate? I don't, I'm worried about getting it to my mouth, to my belly. Exactly. That's right, Manda, 042, that's right. Now, if you're one of those perfectionist people, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I kind of botched it today, but like I said, we learn, and the more you do it, the better you get. That's just like when I do my egg roll in a bowl, I'm so used to it now. Steven says, Mom, you have to tell them the measurements. I said, okay. Because they have to cook with you. <laughs> but then again, I, I have a document, so it's all good. Right. So, you know, we want you to get it and then make it your own. And that's what I've done. I've just made it my own. Yeah. So, um, like I said, this pie was good last time, too. It was. Does my mom give good hugs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish I could right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hug him. Um, oh, also, what's your dream dog? Katie Creative asks what your dream dog is. My dream dog? What do I like? I like those um, Terries. Terriers? Terriers? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you've ever watched The Thin Man, like their little Terry, oh, my gosh. I love Aster. Mm. He was the best. How are potatoes doing over here? They should be almost, but maybe it's more minutes or so? No, they gotta go a little more. Okay. They're, they're going well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it says one on our Instapot over there. Yeah, almost done with the ribs. It's a nice quote. The more you do something, the better you get. Yep. I tell people that all the time, saying, even with like building in The Sims, even though it may be janky at first, but the more you do it, the, like the more fun and easier it gets. Because um, ultimately, we're all learning day by day, because we're all human. As long as it tastes good, the looks don't matter exactly. Also, Anonymous, thank you for the $20 donation, by the way, to St. Jude. And voting for Bone Hilda. Bella Goth is not going to win at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But thank you, Anonymous, for the $20. Thank you. Um, we enjoy this because this is family time, and this is where um, we're not looking for perfection. We don't have the word chef in front of our name or um, those letters behind the names that we said that we're professional um, cooks. Right. We are people who enjoy good food, and we enjoy making our own food. We have health challenges, and we meet them by preparing our own meals and enjoying them. You know, it's one thing, you know, the doctor says, cut this out, cut that out. You're high risk for this and high risk for that. But you can still enjoy your food. 
-hmm. And you think, oh, well, it's not going to taste good. I'm telling you, turmeric, ginger, cumin, what else, garlic, all kinds of spices, parsley, um, thyme, rosemary, lavender. I'm telling you, people, experiment, experiment. If you're not allergic to it, I say try it. And try it more than once because you'll find that right balance of spices that will make your food just amazing. And cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Mm. I grew up, um, my family would make sweet potatoes or yams or candy yams as they called them and all the brown sugar and the cinnamon and the butter. Oh yes, it was good. But we make them very simple now by just cutting them, sprinkling cinnamon on them, a little oil, um, and that's it in the oven. And I'm telling you, yeah. it is the best. Less oil, less fat, more sweet potato. Okay. okay Happy Bruce, birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and release the. Uh, oh yeah. Release the jet. And once the uh, red button pops down. It is safe to go ahead and take the top off. And I couldn't take the top off if I wanted to. It's too much pressure. <laughs> now that's the perfection. Oh, did you turn it down? Yeah. Oh, now that's the perfection right there. Wait till you see them. Also, Bob, happy birthday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy birthday, Bum the Plum, Bob. Um, and glad you're here today. What kind of games do your parents play if they have like phones or PCs? So, my parents play a lot of different games. Me and my dad are more of the, the gamers, really, in the family. I just sit, watch, and laugh. But I'm, I love the jewel. I'm kind of more of the, what do you call them? The arcade games, um, those kinds of things, the jewel. And what was that, Temple Run? Oh, yeah. Oh, I live for Temple Run. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello. MJ. MJ. Hello. Also. How you be? Um, also, Sims 3GG. Hello. Love to sew. That's right. And you feel better, don't you? Bonding time is the best time with family. When you make it together, it's more fun. Oh, it is. You they quit, help me. You quit sugar a year ago and I haven't looked back. We use, so I use cane sugar for everything. I don't use regular sugar anymore. Um, but when I'm like baking with something, I'll use like cane sugar. Um, you're a mess in the kitchen to be honest. I can't bake because my oven is broken. Oh no. But when I cook, everything is a mess, but the taste is 10 and 10 anyway. Yep. See? And when you enjoy um, what you're eating, you're apt to eat more of it. And that's how you get more vegetables. Try them in ways, if you say, when I grew up, I didn't like the taste of, try it again and try it with different seasonings. Yes. Um, and again, um, just like last night, what was that? I added zucchini to my burger um, instead of pickles. Now, I love me some bread and butter pickles. Mm. But... I said, I'm going to have something with a little less sodium in it. And um, I just had some leftover zucchini. I put that on there just like a pickle and had some onions. And you, I'm telling you, my burger was good. And it was, um, I last night I had going beyond, or beyond burger, not going beyond. <laughs> That's a ministry, Priscilla Schreier's ministry going beyond. But the beyond burger, I, I enjoy those. I try not to have too much of them because they are... High in sodium as well. So I didn't need to add any sodium to it. My burger tasted good. So yeah. zucchini pickles, y'all. Um, Charlie. Okay. This is ready. Yeah, my parents don't play bit life. They, they're they very busy people. I'm hoping to one day we all can play games together. Is bit life fun? Like Oh, bit life is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's a mobile game that you can play. It's like The Sims, but it's text-based. Like, very insane. It goes from 0 to 100. Oh, okay. I think I remember y'all talking about that. Um, okay. Switch, hello. Moderation, yep. Moderation is key. But veggies is 10 on 10 good. Yeah, so now I'm going to look at it and see how the reels are looking. Let me see. I got my hand on the top. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. 
but it is safe, it beats. And let's go ahead and pull it up and see what we got here. Ooh, Ooh. look at them. They're already the bone. It's, I'm seeing the bone want to pull back a little, which is good. And that's what I want. If I had this 30 minutes, 35 minutes, the meat will have it, will have it coming off. So let me go ahead and set this aside. They look very good. And now let me go ahead and pull them up. I made about a half a wrap of rib size. Like you, you go to the restaurant or so it's more easy to pull out instead of putting the whole rack itself. Much, much easier. Okay. If it falls apart, it falls apart. Oh, we also can do a countertop tour later too, so we can see what if you've got, if you want. So each one of us has our own little half rack of ribs, as we call it. Now, I'm going to right now go ahead and turn the oven on, put it on raw. But also, I'm going to use my barbecue sauce and spread it over, over. And by the time I get to the oven, we have a nice glaze on the outcome. That's what they're talking about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. Cool. We're going to eat very good tonight. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> My way or the highway? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. You're having steak homemade twice potato bake wait. Homemade twice back potatoes, bread and veggie sent for dinner. Oh that sounds really good. Also, by the way, I've missed a, a donation. Amanda, thank you for the ten dollar donation by the way from eight minutes ago and voting for Vlad on Thank the, you on the poll. Thank you. Um and I will honestly have to say, like, if you don't have a pressure cooker, it's a very good investment. I have one, and it, it, it's great. Like, you could do no wrong with a, a pressure cooker in your home. You can make a lot of things with it and have a very fun time. Between this cooking stream and Simsy this morning, I know. Simsy, so she had made, um, my friend, little Simsy, Kayla Sims, um, she's, like, one of my good friends, a long time friend. We've We've been to most every single event together in the past six years, which is crazy. Um, but she had streamed this morning and she had made, um, I think it was like cupcakes and then something else. And then wow. she had dyed her husband's hair pink. In which I, no, in real life. <laughs> uh, her and her husband, Dan, lived together. So she had dyed his hair for charity, um, which I thought was very funny. So now he has pink hair. Thanks, Dan. We love you. All for the kids. Oh, cup, uh, cupcakes and cookies. That's what it was. Thank you. And I'm like, what was the other one? Honestly, Jazzy, come over. 
Door open. <laughs> Cause like, so Kayla, she had shaved her dad's head um, and then dyed Dan's hair. So it was a lot of hair related things happening with the, with her strings, which were very fun. I was torn between Vlad and Bone Hilda. Honestly, what is the poll? Let me see. Where is this poll? Cause I can't see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Belle only has $7. Thank Wait. You. How, okay, Bob's gonna be in third. If someone donated $3 to St. Jude, Bob will be in third next to Nancy. Ugh. I don't know about that. <laughs> but Von Hilda's winning a lot. Oh, sorry. Um. Okay, since this right here is not hot, I am now gonna go ahead and transport this to the oven. Oop. Okay. I'll get ready to do something the Sims can't do. <laughs> Sims can't cook ribs correctly. Okay, not yet. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. And it is already on roll. At least I thought it, I did. Oh, did you press? Oh, the start. Yeah, there we go. But that's okay. And now put it on the top rack because that's what I wanted. And give it about 10 minutes. And I'll check back and forth to see how it's going. Oh. So my part is done. He can now so, far. Uh, okay. so now I can go ahead and take a power nap, five minute power nap. <laughs> so that just means you can always have barbecue ribs any day. Exactly. Yep. I prefer grill, but Instapot is my new second bestie. <laughs> You're tempted to dye your hair the same color as your OC for your birthday in October, depending on how your mom will be by that time. I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, but honestly, this is fun. I am having a lot of fun. No way his hair is pink now. Yeah. I sadly miss her stream. Have to watch about later. So do I. Unless she had made breakfast and you guys are making lunch. <laughs> We're eating good tonight, everyone. We're feeding everyone. Kayla has breakfast. I have lunch. Who will have dinner? We need somebody to stream at night so we can um, cook, so they can cook dinner and then you all will be fed. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, they made their own pie crust. They made the pie crust. Yeah, this one's gonna be good. It actually turned pretty good. All we need now is some sliced peaches to make a peach pie. Ooh, we can do that next time. Mm. That'd be good. Or the apple um, crisp. Oh, yeah. Crumbly? Mm-hmm. Apple um, crisp. Mm. 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 Oh, Grandma Grandma's gonna have to do a cooking string. That'd be nice. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's the other one. Okay. Let's okay. So there we go. But I like Honestly, peach pie, apple pie. And yours could be there. True. I guess it depends on what time zone you're in because I'm in the central time zone and it's like 2 p.m. right now. So I guess like lunch, dinner, dinner. I guess so. Are you hearing from Germany Saturday night? Well, whatever time it is for you, this is your dinner. <laughs> Vegan sweet potato pie, ribs, and um, egg, roll egg, roll, egg roll in a bowl. That's next. Oh, up. yeah. That is next. Egg roll in a bowl will be next soon. Um, and then we'll probably, well, the pie. We'll do the pie f second, and then we'll do the egg roll in a bowl because the potatoes are almost done. Is bedtime for you, 3 p.m. for you, 9 p.m., 12 p.m. for you. You know, I woke up this morning, I think around like 7.30 or something like that, and then I fell back asleep. And then woke up at like 8.30. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'll upload this on YouTube. I'm, so right now, all of my VODs on YouTube, I'm pretty much all caught up. I have to upload the rest of them, but, um... 
there are no thumbnails on any of my vods because I've been so busy and haven't had time to make any. Um, so if you watch all the vods and they're not in a playlist, just know they will be eventually soon. I just have to organize everything, but, um, yes, it will be on, um, on YouTube. Uh, I might actually upload this VOD, um, tomorrow, actually, so that way it'll be up there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna spend this week when I'm here just organizing all of my VODs so they can be in a dedicated playlist so it's easier to watch. Um, cause this is actually episode five of our cooking with spring type of stream cause we've done five of them already. Um, so it's been really fun. 2 p.m. for you. That's not bad. Oh wait, we're in the same time zone. 3 p.m. Nap time for me today. Honestly, after today I'm gonna need a nap. What is this? Oh. Okay. So how are the potatoes? Yeah. 9 p.m. Nice. I think what I want to do, actually, um, while we kind of get things kind of cleaned up around here for a hot minute, we'll take it like a short break. Um, I'm going to play you all a video of the St. Jude patient. Uh, so that we can learn a little bit more about St. Jude and what they do and kind of all their treatments and everything. Um, but this patient's called Maylin Kate. And they were at St. Jude, they were treated there, they're now cured. So I want to give you all a little bit more about them. So I'll see you all in like three minutes. And we'll kind of be back with our little groove of cooking. So I'll see you all then. My name is Kate in a flat episode. Two years ago, she was in an orphanage in China and there was no hope for her. And today, she's here, she's healthy, and she has a whole huge, bright future. Yeah, girl! Let's get you up here. What do you think? I think you go. <laughs> Mail and Kate is the single most joyful person I have ever met in my life. She's sassy, she's silly, she's smart. I'm proud of her all the time, but today was really special. We're rolling. And action. She filmed a commercial with Tony and Marlo Thomas for St. Jude. Here we go, good job, Maylin. Maylin Kate has Fanconi anemia. It's a rare genetic blood disorder that results in bone marrow failure. So she had a bone marrow transplant in March. Without St. Jude, I really don't know where we would be with our daughter. They saved her life. Yeah. How they treat the whole family, the kids, how they're so loved and so cared for on an emotional, physical level. People are happy, people are smiling. It's filled with hope. And we've felt that the entire time we've been here. <laughs> Hope means that May has a future. May has an opportunity to live a long and healthy life. May wants to be a doctor, and I hope that someday she'll get to come back here and be a doctor at St. Jude and be able to share her journey with somebody and give hope to another child and another child's family.
I made me take in a five years old. Two years ago, she was in an orphanage in China, and there was no hope for her. And today, she's here, she's healthy, and she has a whole huge, bright future. Yeah, girl, let's get you up here. What do you think? I think you go. <laughs> Malin Kate is the single most joyful person I have ever met in my life. She's sassy, she's silly, she's smart. I'm proud of her all the time, but today was really special. We're rolling. And action. She filmed a commercial with Tony and Marlo Thomas for scene. We're back. Okay, now it is time to take the ribs out of the oven. I got my gloves on because um, I'm not like one of those um, not super friends or those Marvel characters, especially not the DC characters. <laughs> I can stick my hand in and grab hot stuff. So I'm just going to just turn this off because I, what I did, I did a sneak peek already. So I already know how it looks. Time for the ribs, everyone. Look at the pig. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you want it. That was just like that. Very good. Everyone got four, got four slams of ribs. Half rack. Everyone come over. It's time. That is great. The oven is off. And we're good. That's done. The ribs are done. And now the next step is the potatoes. Gotta let them cool off a little bit. They're almost ready to be smashed. Oh, how long were they in the while. oven? How long were they in the oven? Oh, I'm sorry, in the oven, um, oh, just for the, for the, uh, for the uh, brawl? Yeah. Uh, less than 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes on, on broil. Mm -hmm. But you definitely do want to go ahead and check because you don't want them um, burnt. Some people like it, like it just like brisket. I like a good char on mine. I, it depends for me. Every once in a while I'm like, oh, I'll go for that one, but I don't know. You have no problem with tapioca? Well, if I'm doing like picnic baked beans and potato salad, I need a little char. If it's a Sunday dinner like what we're making, it, then I like it like that. Yeah. But I always like a char. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the next thing we're going to be doing, uh, we don't know when, is going to do the, uh, the baked beans in the grill. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and get our... Uh, on the grill. Uh, <laughs> on the grill. So we can go ahead and get our um, pot seasoned for that type of bacon. I can show you the pot. Oh, that yeah. is a future, a future, um... Summer's coming. Oh, yeah, future fun, uh, future stream. You need your husband to make some? <laughs> you know, call him right up. Oh, those. Okay. These right here are going to be going on the grill. So I just got to get these right here to marinate, get these right here seasoned, so they can go ahead and don't worry about being st sticky for the any type of food we put in here. So this is old school old time, just that um, they had not been used yet. Yeah, old school cooking. Taiwan. Hmm. Or if you're a camper, these are great if you like camping. Oh, yeah. You'll enjoy your favorite thing. Mm-hmm. What is that, Pioneer Woman? I love her. Oh, oh yeah. one of the two. And if you know, we like to eat. <laughs> we love, we really do love food. We have a lot of food and it's just, it's wonderful in how much we cook. Honestly, we're making y'all hungry. We hungry too. <laughs> and we've only done like one out of like the two that we need to do. 
and that's why I got to go down and take me a power nap, five minute power nap, going out, and then come back. friends it is time now we know where Stephen loves his, loves the food one yeah this is I don't know if you all know but I talk about food all the time on stream I did almost every stream so now it's happening with a food stream for real <laughs> um are we making green beans or like bush beans I we usually do um bush bush baked beans we love green beans but mostly when we're um like grilling them and stuff like that, we'll use uh, bush baked beans. Oh, where's the thing? Oh, here it is. I was like, where's the recipe? We also had to, we had printed out by recipe. So that way I don't have to use like another monitor. Double sided. I just had a jump scare out. Oh, no. I need to figure out when those ads play so I let you all know what's happening. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's always going to have a uh, little printed out thing on hand. Also, Don, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome to the Spring Squad. Thank you, thank you. You love green beans before green bean casserole? I've never had green bean casserole before. But that sounds really good, though. Where is my, um... Oh, okay. There we go. Anywho. Green, wait, green rice, oh, you're ready? Okay, um, well, they're about to do the uh, sweet potatoes, by the way. Yeah, I do have a coloring book. I do, I have a physical one and I have a digital one. I've also been getting notifications on my phone about people buying my coloring books. I really appreciate that Thank so much. you. Um, we usually have it though for the holidays, like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, that's that does make more sense for like the green bean casserole. My dad makes casserole too. Turns out really well. Um, you can. Is it too? Oh, yeah. We just have to like um, not stir them, but um, whip them. It says. With a mixer, beat the beans until smooth, and then add the remaining ingredients. So yeah, that's pretty much what they are now. Uh, oh, yeah, we're making vegan sweet potato pie. Um, we just got done with the ribs a few minutes ago. And now we're making um, also egg roll in a bowl. 
we're making three different things today. So yeah, if you want to know the recipes, it's just F at two point recipes in the chat. out of the pot so they're very um hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of hot summertime is coming um and i'm sure people are going to be at the pool or have been at the pool all weekend don't forget sunscreen oh yeah don't forget sunscreen everyone because if you burn it ain't going to be pretty so definitely wear your sunscreen drink a lot of water actually you can have a hydrate check, by the way. Everyone get your water. It's important. Where's mine? Hydrate check, everyone. Okay. Sunscreen is important. Doesn't matter. Our skin is our uh, protects everything on the inside so we got to take care of the outside yes vitamin d is only um is the best source not the only source you can get it in supplements but the best way to get vitamin d is from the sun but sun exposure is no joke so be safe and be well use sunscreen and for those of us that are African American, Black American, however you relate, Mexican American, or use sunscreen. Okay? Let's be safe. Let's be well. Yes, indeed. So we can enjoy our summer and all these good things that you'll be eating and experiencing. Anybody got plans yet for the summer? Big trips, little trips, local trips? What you doing? Oh, in D.C. in September. Oh, how nice, Dabney. That's a perfect time. It's not too hot. It's beautiful. And if I remember correctly, I... It was August or September they do, well, they used to do like Grill Master, where people all overcame, and you're talking about Grill Masters. These were the best of the best from around the nation came to D.C. And I was thinking that was in September, but, you know, this was pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, so um, we loved it when we lived in the um, DMV area. And DMV is... D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. <laughs> yeah, I did not even know what that was. Yeah, DMV, yeah. So don't hate on DMV. <laughs> I'm going to Canada. Oh, my goodness. Niagara Falls. Oh, my gosh. Pictures, videos, pictures, videos. Even if you don't post them for yourself. Oh, my gosh. Iceland. Wait, that sounds really cool. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, and stop a stop able and a un, and stoppable reader. Ooh, Iceland. Oh. Nice. It's my mom's dream to go. Yeah. Oh, big art project for your for a game you really love. Oh, that sounds really fun. Nice, nice. Oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you know what? Katie Creative, yeah. Katie Creative, you be safe, okay? And you do what's best for you. 
Less stress, girl. Less stress. So if it, you're anxious about it, do what you need to do. But don't forget to have fun. Okay? Yeah. And that's all what the summer is all about. Having fun. Selling our house and moving three states. Woo! All righty now. <laughs> that's the summer. I'll be in San Antonio in July. All right. Attending a Comic Con with my mom. Sweet. It will be a great vacation for you guys. But first trip without my dad. So strange but fun. Guess what? You have those happy thoughts about dad. Take them with you, okay? And you and your mom, enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, my goodness. You know, we have to remember the pandemic... Um, we lost loved ones during that time, whether it was COVID related or not. We lost loved ones and many of us didn't get to celebrate um, with them um, or celebrate their life because of the COVID restrictions. Now is your time. Now is your time in your grieving, your healing. Now is the time. Take the memories. Take them with you on your vacation, even if, it's, even if it's on your deck. Working. Hey, I remember them days. I remember those days. You know, hey, that's all right. We love you. <laughs> and we're here for you, okay? Again, take care of yourself while you're working, too. Hey, Spice Gwen. Hey. Hey. Tabby Co. Okay, okay. <laughs> but we'll be lurking and listening. You be safe, okay? We thank you for that. And you know, it'll be here when you want to come back and watch it, okay? London in September. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is that Ilsa Hart? Hmm? Ilsa Hart? I think so. That's how I would pronounce it to me. Okay. Ilsa Hearts. Yes, we're getting it done. We're just holding space and all of you are joining us and, and contributing, donating. Um, just you being here says a lot. St. Jude, I know is appreciative of this. Anything that we can do and we're getting it done. People tell your friends if they just pop in, if they don't have time to pop in and watch us while we're cooking, this is our family time, but we chose to do it with you today like this in support of St. Jude for the work that they're continuing to do for children who need, um, need the care that St. Jude gives them. Yeah. And fun fact, if you didn't know, with St. Jude, the, no parent ever receives a bill at St. Jude. So, St. Jude takes care of their travel, their housing, their food, everything. They don't pay a single dime. So the parents only have to worry about their kids getting better. And since they are a children's research hospital, they are sharing their research around the world to other doctors and scientists so they can cure more kids. Um, their mission is finding cures and saving children. Because Love it. Say that again. What's the bottom line? Finding cures and saving children. Oh, so it's not complicated. No. St. Jude literally wants to end childhood cancer. Eradicate. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And you being here today celebrating with us our family time is doing just that. Your donations are what's making it easy for St. Jude to keep doing and stay focused that it's finding cures and saving children. And that's all we want them to focus on, doing just that. Like we don't have to complicate it. Oh, and by the way, today is World Hunger Day. World Hunger Day. And my Toastmasters Club actually had a theme meeting about that yesterday, and it was good. Um, it was good because we had conversations, not just talking about it, but what can we do? What can we do to end world hunger? And someone had a quote. They were saying that poverty and hunger are complicated issues. But feeding children should not be. I'll let that sink and marinate for just a minute. 
Poverty and hunger are complicated, but feeding children should not be. So don't complicate it. Donate to your local pantry. Help out with um, summer lunches in parks. There's organizations that put that on, organizations, whether they're faith-based or community-based, that provide lunches because, you know, some kids only get to eat when they go to school. Now that school is getting out, yeah. um, how will they eat? What is that? Let's not complicate it. Let's do the work that's easy to do, feed the children. Where's the ground ginger? Oh, it's right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's what it is? Oh, I well, because we had it in the big and we just dumped it in there. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. I get pretty huge about topics like this. So, like, so why should people in prison uh, get free meals like kids in public schools don't? All these immigrant employees there. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, we haven't seen the Little Mermaid, uh, the live action Little Mermaid yet. Since it came out yesterday, we haven't had time to go outside and do things, really. Um, Elsie, thank you so much for the $10 donation, by the way, to St. Jude. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it so much. Um, oh, that's one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I, we're gonna probably go see it, or I probably will, just because... Oh, you're going? Okay. Um, Girl power. Little Mermaid. The live action came out yesterday, so might as well go see it. It sounds really cool. I love the soundtrack. So I'm all for it. Um, and the actress is singing. That's her voice, correct? Yes. All of her. But your mom wants to see it. Oh. Wait. You're saying as a Disney stand, Daphne? You're not going to go see a Disney movie? What? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Half a pizza. And then one. Where did I put the light? Oh. <laughs> oh, you saw my live actions. Okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. Live actions, they have their moments every once in a while. Oh. Um, they have to be good enough for me to like, like, and watch every once in a while. Um, oh yeah, so we're cooking two different things, or three different things today. Um, we're cooking vegan sweet potato pie. Uh, we already got the ribs out of the oven, and my mom's currently doing the egg roll in a bowl. I'm prepping, I'm chopping my onions. Oh. Both. I like the green onion. You can use the other onion as well, or both. But if you want to know what we're uh, making, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat. Exclamation recipes. Got I it. Know <laughs> oh, the Cinderella live action one was good. Well, which one? There were so many. The Brandy one, or the Hillary Duff one, or the Selena Gomez, 
Or the other one. I don't know. I love the one with brandy. That one's really nice. Love them all. Girl power. Yeah, they're all cool. Um, tablespoon for those. Um. I want another Mulan. I'm sorry. I just love that one. Animated or live action? But Oh, you know? Hmm. Animated. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Um, oh, Katie Curtis Kitten said hello to you. Hey! My kitten says hello and that you look amazing today. Thank you. Four tablespoons of cornstarch. I never use cornstarch. So I'm glad I'm using it today. Well, we do what the recipes say till we learn different cornstarches have a function. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, like I said, I'm not the chef, so I tend to do what the recipe says until I taste it and try different. What do y'all think of my cutting skills? I had to learn this. <laughs> She's a better cutter than I am with chopping things. I want to get it where, you know, it's like, ooh, chop, 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 chop. No, I'm not like that yet. Because I'll hurt myself if I even try. Okay. Mulan is one of your favorites. I loved Mulan too. Because it was progressing to the story, but number one can never beat the first one. I agree. But it's been so many years since Mulan. Because we have, um, I think we have Mulan 2 on DVD and maybe Mulan 1 on VHS. I cannot remember. I'll show you how old we are. <laughs> I think now we have one of the two. Um, okay, so everything is going on. I can just go ahead and mix it all in. And then we'll put a pour it into that thing in the fridge. cutting board oh this thing oh I was like huh what um yeah it's my uh water it's uh twitch twitch tumbler that I have oh that's right water break where's my water oh, oh. Mm, the classics always and forever yes indeed Okay, I'm 
gonna have to get him. He wants to eat the pie filling. <laughs> no, I know. I can smell it. It's beautiful. Uh, the spices. Oh my gosh. So good. All right. It depends on the live action for me, though. <laughs> um, but I still will watch them because the characters. Yeah, the characters and design, like the Tiana one, I think they're making a live action one. <laughs> if you want to make it yourself, uh, Destin, you can. Exclamation point recipes in the chat. <laughs> 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 um, okay, um, I will go ahead and take this out, break it, so we can pour And what I love about this recipe, this, it's not stringy. Not at all. I mean, well, now you need to stir it because you put them back in. You don't want to strip them off. Oh. Because of the strings, when you are, um, when it's mixing, it pulls the strings out beautifully. And then there's less stringy strings in your pot. That's true. Yeah, so whirl it one more time and, and then just take the um, yeah. legs off. Yeah, that was a trick my mom taught me. She says, yep, yeah, it's in the mixing. And you don't want to over mix. I mean, you know, blend it. That's why you want your potatoes. Um, nice and done because it doesn't take long and you add those spices and then the um mixing guys i don't know why i can't think um they will pull the strings out of it and then you just pour the mixture blended mixture into your pie crust and then wait for it and it's worth the wait ta-da Beautiful. And it, it smells beautiful. There we go. Okay. Are we ready to do this? Pour it in. Pour it in. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, a lump. There's a lump. But wait, that's okay. That will be a sack for later. I know it's very orange. Those are the sweet potatoes and the color in the vegetables. Oh. Oh. You know what? I think those are the end pieces. <laughs> oh, probably I forgot so. To, tell you to cut those off, oh. and then you don't have what we're doing now. So. Oh. Well. It's all good. All good. Also, Cowell, I think for the prime, like from 15 minutes ago, by the way. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you for the prime. Okay. Depending on the size of your potatoes, these were very, two, I would say, extra large potatoes. Yeah. So we have a little bit extra, um, unless you're making a deep dish. Like if, I, if we were making a deep dish crust, this, yeah, this would have been perfect. And we still have a lot left over, so, so we could definitely. I'll be making another crust <laughs> and we'll have pie for the week. Yeah. Okay. There it is, you all. Nice and simple. That was not hard at all. Nope. Okay. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Nice and fast. You can even make your dough the day before. Keep it in the fridge and then roll it out and then prep it right before your Sunday dinner or whatever day of the week you choose to have um, this vegan sweet potato pie. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Spring. I didn't see you put that up there. <laughs> oh, that made a command. Yeah. She does stream every once in a while. Yeah, it's been a minute because I've been outside walking. Um, but June, I'm back to streaming. Yes, I'll be back to streaming and we'll be having conversations about living fit and well, mind, body, and soul. Okay? So, I wish I could stream and walk. You probably, You can. Oh, that's right, because you can do it from the phone. Mm -hmm. Hey, you never know, y'all. I'll take you on a walk. I'm trying to get to find some different parks than what I usually do, just so that I can just meet other people and I can spread um, the word about walking. You know, 30 minutes, five times a week, y'all. 150 minutes of moderate walking. You know, this isn't... 
If you can do that, great, but be wise. Thank you so much, Blur. Oh, Blurp Rose. <laughs> Blurpy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just enjoy living fit and well. So when you know how to take care of your body or you want to learn how to take care of your body, first of all, if you have health concerns or health challenges or illnesses that require doctor or nurse um, monitoring, you make sure you get how you are to do what you do or need to do. Okay? And then let's do it together. I do a lot of moderation because I can't exercise the way I used to when I was 20, 30, 40. Um, 50, I had to get a little bit wiser because the body began to challenge me in my knees and my hips and my lower back and my feet. I have flat feet, so I had some inserts made specifically for me, and they have made a, it's night and day. So my feet don't hurt, and I still walk. We're going to be biking this year, so mm -hmm. lots of things happening. It's been hard to maintain your health recently. Exactly. What? Walking is great it, for... my dad, sacril. Sacril? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I have that due to a motor vehicle accident. Oh, and, um, that's it. So, love to hear some of the things that you do to modify the exercises. Remember, be wise when you exercise. You don't want to be pounding. It may not bother you now, but later on it will. So be wise now. Yeah, no problem. I really enjoy. This was a really fun stream. We're not yeah. done yet. So, oh, you turned on the oven. Okay, so yeah. that's preheating. That's what we forgot. So you have that preheated. That would have slid right in. Mm -hmm. So, we're ready for me. Yeah. Next, we have the egg roll in a bowl. Woo! So while the oven's preheating. Egg roll in a bowl time. Um, are you doing it over there? Or, uh -huh. or what do you mean to do it? Oh, I mean, no, you can do it over there. I, I need the stove. Yeah, I would like to move the camera. Oh, okay. Um, I'll move this Mission point recipes um, in the chat. My dad's resting. Um, he's taking a little bit of a nap. Let me check on him <laughs> before I get started. Let me get on the couch. Where are you going upstairs? Let me get the couch. <laughs> he's just resting. It's all good. <laughs> He'll be back. Um, yeah, we kind of we try to keep our kitchen as clean as possible, organized as possible. Um, That's the benefit of doing it together. Somebody's always washing and whatever. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so we're making um, sweet vegan sweet potato pie. Um, we made ribs earlier. Those are already out. And now my mom's making uh, egg roll in a bowl is uh, what she's doing now. You, could, you should be able to see everything perfectly fine. Yeah. You can see her... Oh, they can see your glasses. <laughs> oh, you got that much of me. Okay. I didn't know how much it was going to be. That's all right. As long as they can see the skillet. Yeah. I don't need to be in the picture anyway. So you can see everything. Um, but yeah. It's a very fun, fun little thing. But that's like our little kitchen area of what we have. Because we have a, um, a Samsung stove and then a Samsung microwave and then a GE fridge. Um, oh, okay. Oh, my ears. We have a, huh? Oh, yeah. We have a Ninja um, air fryer, Ninja bullet blender. Oven, so it's a little bit great. 
Um, that will be in the oven for, where'd it go? 55 to 60 minutes for the um, pie. Um, Lizette, welcome in. How are you? How are you doing today? Yeah. Only because we, I don't have a clove of garlic. Oh, yeah. So, the equivalent of a clove of garlic is one-eighth of garlic powder. Again, adjust it according to your taste and preference of garlic. We love garlic. So you'll see me add it later as well. Um, but we do cook a, a lot together. Like, a lot. Um, sometimes I'll come over here and we'll cook something. Or um, they'll come over to my apartment and cook something with us together. So yeah, we cook a lot. So a tablespoon is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. If you didn't know that, now you know. We're all learning together. Oh. And this was the ginger. Um, I just started out with a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Even though it calls for one tablespoon of minced fresh ginger. Remember, you can go more with fresh go less with ground or powder because it's more potent. Again, if you know the taste of ginger and garlic and onion powder, you like that, you know how much you can use. So, have we tried our own powders before? No, we have not tried to make our own powders before. Ooh, challenge, I love it. If you know how, let us know. We'll be always happy to try. And then I'm, I, today I'm using this protein. We have used, um, what was the other one I always, oh, I actually use um, turkey sausage crumblies. Um, actual turkey sausage, Jimmy Bean, not just throwing out the brand, but I like that because it's fully cooked already. But you use whatever protein you want in this recipe, whether it's ground turkey, chicken, pork, or other protein. So today, this is the protein of choice. And for this recipe, if you do it exactly, it's one pound of ground. I tend to like a little less because I like more veggies. Um, my next step is to actually try it with the tofu. Okay. Y'all can see me. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I don't have to just do it. <laughs> yeah. That's a very perfect angle now that I think about it. Because it can be the stove, your hands, and the, all that stuff over here. So over that's... medium heat, so that means you can't leave it. <laughs> this is a very fast um, cook. So um, that's why I like it, because I can whip it up and have dinner ready in 30 minutes if I do this. That is true. Oh my goodness. B uh, Book is similar. Thank for the 30 bits. And also, Anon, thank for the $100 donation to St. Jude, by thank the way. Thank you. Thank you. Um, vegan raised in Central Illinois. Sending some love back home. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We do cook like a lot of... Um, up. We cook like a lot of... <laughs> we cook like a lot of like vegan type foods here. I'm not vegan. My parents aren't vegan, but we like making a lot of varieties of food. Um, just to like taste test and try new things and it's really fun. Um, plant based, plant based. Plant based, yeah. Plant based is what they, what they call it. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's really cool. Um, if you have any recipes that you want us to try or anything at all, let us know. We're always happy to try new foods. And I'm not just, we love food, so we'll eat anything. Um, also, Garrett, how are you doing today? It's good seeing you. Garrett! Woo! What's up? My mom has missed you, Garrett, a yes. lot. Yes! As you can see. He got, School update! He got straight A's, so. Sweet! So, that's pretty cool. Proud of you. Um, tell us a little bit about the egg roll in a bowl, like why not in, a, uh, in the wrapper? Yeah, tell us that about that. Why not in a wrapper? Um, it's a choice. Um, I didn't want to use wrap, um, and I wanted a more, uh, more healthier option. And because then it's not fried, 
Um, there is a way to do egg wrap in the air fryer. I haven't tried that yet. Um, and plus, we can put this over rice if we choose to. Yeah. I can eat it straight up, and you'll see why. Oh, yeah, once you kind of see it all come together, it's going to turn out really good. Think of it as egg roll unwrapped. <laughs> mm. You made egg roll in a bowl before, and they're amazing. They really are. You can do a lot of like variations with them, so it's really cool. You're happy right now, and I hope you're thriving. I am thriving, and so are my parents. I don't always like the wrapper, so it's good without them. Yeah, I don't really like... We've had egg roll in a bowl a lot. A and lot. we don't <laughs> a lot um and we don't always do a wrap sometimes it just kind of depends on our preference really but yeah i love egg rolls i love them it's yeah just, i choose to have a more healthier option as we don't fry here anymore that's the one thing we don't do is fry um in grease mm. so egg it's... rolls when we order them out that is what happens so um, again, we like more plant-based options, so we decided to get rid of the wrap and put it over brown rice or quinoa or couscous. So kind of like or a, beans. Yeah, like an enchilada casserole kind of way. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, we don't do a lot of frying anymore because it's it's we not don't good. Fry. Yeah, we don't fry. It's not good. We for air us. fry. But we don't fry, deep fry. Yeah, no deep fry, but air fry, way to go. Um, so it ends up more like a stir fry then. Yeah, yeah, technically, like a stir fry. Yep. I got a wok. I just need to break it in and use that. So yeah. that's why I'm using my skillet today, but I did purchase a wok. You like to put yours over rice or over cold chopped salad? Mmm. Mmm. That's a good one. And you'll see that I'll be using coleslaw instead of chopping up a cabbage. Again, when you can go faster, <laughs> I don't mind. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Easier. Coleslaw. Yeah. Also, Ragdoll Mom, thank you for the $5 donation, by the way, to St. Jude. And voting for Vlad in the poll. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you so, so much. I like that Vlad's getting love in the poll. <laughs> I'm probably going to try some of the games after working on some new projects. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Do what you need to do, uh, Katie. Yeah. Um, I think we can bake them, too. Yeah, we could. We could bake them. That's true. We do, like, oven-baked or air-fry, depending. You've been cooking a lot more with air-fry, not oil-fry. Yeah. Also, Black Rose Siren. Thank you so much for the follow. Garrett, you should have been here earlier. We've been cooking up a storm today, so it's been a lot. Oh, also, my mom's using sesame seed oil, not olive oil. And avocado oil. Oh, and, uh, and avocado oil. That was at the beginning. Oh, avocado oil first, and then sesame oil. If you want to know the recipes for all that we're making today, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat. Doors open, Garrett. Anyone can come over. <laughs> open to all. Everyone grab a plate. Um, my beautiful Bai Drew air fryer has been a lifesaver. We have, um, so we've had other air fryers before, but we've now changed a lot of things around here. So now we have a, uh, a ninja air fryer. I wonder. I'll show you. Um, but this is our air fryer, by the way. It's a lot smaller, it's a lot easier, actually, than with your regular air fryer, but this is what we have. It's a lot more compact, and it's a lot easier on the space. space. Saver. Yeah, so it's definitely, it's definitely a space saver for sure. But that's our air fryer, what we use a lot. Um, and that's our Instapot, and then this is like blender thing, ninja boy. That's my mixer for my own home. Dishwasher, our stove, microwave, our fridge, and another thing over there. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, we have a lot of appliances, but we've now gotten to the point 
where we're making like good choices of what we're using and how we're using them. So it's made it a lot, lot easier. But that's a little mini kitchen tour. This is your first time meeting uh, my mom so she reminds you of your late mother in love. Oh, it's so nice. Now my family is very sensitive to spicy, mm -hmm. but this recipe calls for sriracha, so I'm going to be using very, very little. Oh, but I would be applying it at the end on mine only. But normally this is when you would add it on top of the cabbage. Um, you also want to turn this down as your protein is already cooked. Now you're just adding the other stuff and then just blending it together and you'll see the magic. Yeah. So you're like, oh gosh, that's a mound of coleslaw on their cabbage and carrots. I Ooh. like it because, and I've actually used broccoli in this as well. Oh my gosh. So whoever said stir fry, think of it like that. Um, Sims Forever 20, hello. Also, what's the difference between avocado oil and um, sesame seed oil? Sesame seed oil gives you more of that Asian flavor that we're accustomed to and we taste. Um, and it is sesame seed, and this is toasted sesame. And avocado oil is used more for high, this says for high smoke. In other words, when you're doing things that are at a higher temperature, avocado um, handles that much better. Olive oil, which is what I use a lot, will burn faster um, at higher temperatures. So avocado is the choice that they used in this recipe. Would you say it tastes? But I would you if you didn't have avocado, use it, but be mindful of the heat. Would you say it tastes different? Well, I love avocado and I love olive. Um, it's not enough for it to really make it taste different because to me, I taste more the sesame seed um, at the end of the recipe. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just helping you, it's just enough in there to cook the protein of which we are using the um, plant-based protein. So again, be mindful. I did the protein on medium, and then when I added the cabbage and onions, I turned it down to half of that because I don't really want to cook my cabbage. The protein and the heat and the sesame seed oil will help bring the cabbage, um, as like I said, you'll see it transform right before your eyes. Mm. Our sriracha. Sriracha oh. sauce. And because we're mindful of our soy sauce and we didn't have the uh, low sodium, mm. <laughs> so I have to be very mindful of how much soy sauce that I will use in here. The recipe calls for a fourth of a cup. I am not using a fourth of a cup of soy sauce in this one. You lose, well, you use low I just do enough to sodium. saturate it. And again, the sesame seed. I mean the toast, yeah, the sesame, um, sesame oil and the soy sauce really give it that authentic egg roll taste mm. that we know. That's true. Um, also, Spooky, welcome in. How are you? Hey. Um, my mom's making egg roll in a bowl right now. If you do exclamation point recipes in the chat, it'll tell you what we're making with all the um, ingredients and all that jazz. Um, but yeah. But yeah, honestly though, this is great. You use low or zero sodium. Mm. Gotta look at look at a look through that yeah, too. I would recommend no sodium or low sodium soy sauce. The soy sauce is very high in sodium itself. It is. I don't think I've ever seen olive avocado olive avocado oil in stores in Norway. Oh my gosh, is, everything is, can be made in oil. Grapeseed, I mean, it's just oh. amazing the different types of oils, and they all have a great purpose. And some are not interchangeably because, like I said, avocado can endure high heat temperatures, mm. um, but not olive oil as well. If you use it, you're really moving it fast. As you can see now, the um, cabbage is beginning to sweat or... Um, 
break down or something? It's steamed. Yeah, yeah, and that's why you, we do it at a low because we don't have to cook it. That's true. You don't want to cook it because then that's overcooking it and then it'll taste no. overcooked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, because you're allergic to sesame. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Then I would use olive oil. I mean, I do like spicy. I can handle spice perfectly fine. It just depends on how much I'm eating of it. Um, sometimes I like to cause physical pain to my body when I'm eating spice, but then I'll like, I'm fine. And then I suffer the consequences later the next day. So <laughs> it really depends, <laughs> but yeah, I'm fine with, with it. Sodium. Um, so yeah, it depends. Also, ragdoll, thank you for the prime stuff, by the way. And also, um, uh, Blurple Rose, thank you for the $10 donation, by the way, to St. Jude as well. Thank you. Don't cook with, no, don't do with, no, baby oil, no, no, that's, that's a different <laughs> oil. Oh, no, no, no. Baby oil, not one for the cooking. I hope you guys can see this. It's really coming along. I really go big on the cabbage um, because I like I love cabbage. I don't like it. I love cabbage. So this is this like I said, it's like a stir fry. And again, the portions of protein, you can have more or you can have less. I prefer more vegetables, but it's plenty of protein in here as you can see. Mm. And you put that over rice or you eat it as is. Brown rice is our choice, or me, I can eat it straight up. Mm -hmm. And what you see here will be all gone. <laughs> Under all That's why I love it, because it's quick, it's easy, and here it is. I think this was a total of maybe 20 minutes from start to finish. Yeah, not bad. So, less than that if I wasn't talking, because I'd be on it. <laughs> <laughs> We right. use a mostly sunflower or olive oil in your country. Oh. Ah, sunflower. Good choice. You do enjoy food with a kick? I think it helps. Sometimes spice can clear your sinuses very well, so. Good for gut health from what I hear, too. So, again, in moderation and understanding that's what's good true. for your body. That's true. Um, uh, helmet the fish and give it the follow. Um, but also, Miss Atlanta Sims, how are you? It's been a while. How are you doing today on this fine Sunday? Um, you're coming over? Okay. Come on. Door open. I um, can always whip up another one. Y'all saw how easy that was. My dad loves kimchi, and I don't. <laughs> um, so do you use cabbage, carrot, broccoli, or any other veggies? Oh, and the egg roll in a bowl? Mm-hmm. I've actually used um, um, broccoli. Oh, and I had broccoli. I forgot. I was going to put that in, but another time. But I would have added the broccoli. Um, if you like it crunchy, I would say like now you could add the broccoli to it and let it steam down. And I use, um, um, you can use frozen broccoli, which means it would be a little bit more time. Or you could put it in at the same time fr with frozen broccoli. Um, and add that as well. Just chop that up just really nice and it makes it very crunchy. And that's why I don't I can eat it without the rice when I add broccoli. I'm actually gonna try it with mushrooms too. So now it's really turned into a stir fry. But this is quick and easy. Use what you have. Um, again, being mindful of the oils that you use. The temperature is very important. You saw it was up when you cooked the protein. And then you know, like if you do, like if we do Instapot chicken, we will, and if we're going to do, um, what do you call that, um, pulled, pulled chicken or pulled pork, then that leftover chicken becomes the protein in this dish. And so we're still eating good. So you can use things that are already cooked that don't take long. You're basically just heating it up. When I use the turkey crumblies, they're already cooked, but they're frozen, so I'm just 
heating it up and then I'm adding. And again, you can use regular cabbage and then use the carrot, just like they say in the recipe. I just find it quicker to just use coleslaw because all of that's in there. I've actually had like a little bit of a, probably about a quarter head of a the red cabbage and I put that in. The more colors on your plate, the healthier it is for you. Yes. Um, eat the open food? No. Never had it. Ooh, um, interesting. What dishes? Oh, no. It just said Ethiopian food. I've never had it before. Um, and I'm glad you're doing pretty good, Miss Atlanta Sims. We're doing a lot of cooking today in the kitchen um, for Memorial Day weekend, just for the funsies, you know? I think it's very important to have those uh, moments with uh, the fam. This is making you hungry and I have no snacks to hold me over. No! Um, Sunday Wednesday is our fam day. Yeah. French stew. Well, that sounds interesting. French stew. Oh, you'll share some in the, in the Discord, the Asian Yay. cabbage recipe. Oh, thank you. And voila. That's it, y'all. Again, sriracha, I'll add to my plate. Gives it a little uh, to it. <laughs> but that is it. Oh, almost. <laughs> yeah, we could eat. We can wait till the pie later. <laughs> That's true. We could we'll probably watch a good movie and the pie will come later. And a friend of mine, neighbor, made some um, homemade ice cream. Oh. So I'm excited about that. I think she called it cookie crumbly, kind of like an Oreo kind of. Oh. Mm. Well, anyway. Garrett, I am just so happy that you're here and I am very proud of you. You've worked hard and it paid off. Good to see you. Or oh, well, just glad you're here. You, I can't see you, but. <laughs> Beef Borgu, wait, what? I don't know what that word is. Oh. That sounds pretty cool. Homemade ice cream tomorrow. Oh, nice. Also, Mika, thank you for the $5 donation, by the way, to St. Jude. Thank you. Thank you. This food looks delish. Thank you very much. Um, also, lit today is also the last day for the poll that we have. And um, as you can see, this poll is quite... Big, oh my gosh, everyone's voting for Bone Hilda. Um, Bone Hilda is a, a skeleton dressed as a maid. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think I'm still Bob Pancakes. I think because that's the one I remember from your streams <laughs> and things. So. Um, so, my mom's recipe had no dairy, my dad's recipe had no dairy. My recipe doesn't use real dairy, I use soy milk. And that was plant-based butter, by the way. Oh, yeah. Which we didn't use last time, but... Yeah. Plant-based butter. And it did, um, we did use shortening. So, it does have a level of fat content to it. But it was plant-based butter. And it was all-purpose flour. I prefer almond flour. But, nevertheless. And it calls, the recipe calls for coconut milk. In our recipe today, we used soy milk, unflavored. Mm-hmm. You mentioned ice cream, never had uh, that in forever. I've never had ice cream before. I'm allergic to dairy. Can your mom adopt me? Mm-hmm. Come on, who am I adopting today? <laughs> Corn pudding. Wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, R.S. Bags. bags. Oh, you are in the family, okay? You are in the family. If you're here today, you are part of Spring's family, okay? Yeah. And this is Mama Spring. Papa Spring will be back in in just a second <laughs> as we pull it all together. Um. Oh, yeah. So if you want to... Oh, it's over here. If you want to vote in the poll over here, it's through donations to St. Jude. So if you... There we go. I'm like, where can we point? Um, but if you do ask me to point, donate in the chat. You can uh, get the link to our Tiltify page and donate. We're actually only $40 away from hitting $6.4 thousand dollars for the kids. 
um, which is very insane. And at 6.5, I have a milestone where I'll play Mario Kart with chat. So that's very, very cool. Um, so if you like to vote in the poll with your um, donations to the kids of St. Jude, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, the kids definitely need it. The world yeah. needs it. Let's help St. Jude see their vision, vision in their lifetime. Finding cures. And saving children. And saving children. Um, is there such thing as dairy free ice cream? Oh yeah, there is. I just don't trust anything. So I just stay away from it. But we're going to be doing some things, um, some vegan options with that this summer. Because I love ice cream. But unfortunately, whole milk does not agree with the body. Mm -hmm. I still enjoy ice cream. So my friend that made that, I think it's probably with whole milk. I forgot to tell her that. I can have it, but I'm just not happy the rest of that day. <laughs> but I'll be doing some vegan options or non-dairy options um, for ice cream so that he can enjoy. But he usually does like the fruit, sherbets, those kinds of things. Um, lemon ice. Oh, yeah. Italian ice. Oh, my gosh. Also, Master, Master Blast, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Happy Sunday. Um, yeah, hopefully. I think when, if we end up reaching our goal, like, we're, only, we're not, like, that far away, like, $240 away from hitting 6.5. It'll probably happen at some point um, if we end up reaching it, which we have until Wednesday. You guys have done it before, and we can do it again. I, I just believe that we can. Every day that he streams is an opportunity, not only for you, but to tell somebody about this great work that St. Jude is doing. What did we say? Finding cures, saving, saving children. children. We got till Wednesday. Let's make it happen. Yeah, our goal is to hit seven thousand dollars by Wednesday. We can um, do that. Oh, did I just almost grab yours? Sorry. Oh, I was like, what? Did I get one there? I think so. Um, sometimes I feel like the universe golden child, um, because I'm not lactose intolerant. Some people are just the lucky ones. I'm just here living my life. <laughs> I used to didn't be. Oh, my mom used to say I needed my own cow. I drank so much milk, oh. and I love cheese. Again, I still enjoy the things I enjoy. I just have to do some moderations to them or don't eat as much. So, be kind. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> but still enjoy. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Archery? What? what? I loved cheese, but I had to give it. I know. <laughs> I did an elimination diet, and that was the hardest oh. thing. Because I can sit up there and eat a block of cheese. That's just how much I love cheese. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I think um, that is true. Um, but air, air, wait, Archer Cake. I'll go with. I have no idea to that word at all. But I'm going to ooh, screenshot that for myself because that does sound pretty interesting. Oops. Press the button. But what's happening? What? <laughs> there um, he is. There's my dad. Um, next, welcome in. How are you, little spark? Hello. We're currently. Um, I don't know what we're doing now. I think we're Everybody. cleaning up. And, mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah. yeah we're just cleaning up today, right now. The pies in the oven. Oh, here we go. Oh wait. I need to switch the camera. Oh. Oh, my yep. Knees. So, yeah, the pie looks really good, though. Yep. This is it, y'all. That's the whole All thing. All done. But everything else is done. The egg roll in the bowl. And then we got the ribs over here. Instapot ribs. Yep. Instapot. No grill at all. Okay. And less grease, as you can see. Yeah. We can make some brown rice in the instant pot, so y'all might not see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, we right. probably could do it now, honestly. Mm. Might as well. How many? How many oh, what did you say? Two? Oh. Two and three. Two and three. Yeah. Two rice, Two, three. three water. Yeah. So that's like, oh, just a smidgen. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, fine. 
Two cups of rice, three cups of liquid. Yes. In the Instant Pot. But we're using a vegetable broth. Um, I don't know what happened. I wasn't looking. Uh, might be lack of intolerance, but I'm... But ignorance is bliss and I don't know. That's Sammy. Sammy ignores all their lactose intolerant needs and just eat cheese like no, there's no tomorrow. And suffers the consequences later. Um... <laughs> I am highly allergic to peanuts, yes. Like, deathly allergic yes. to them. Um, so, I don't think I've outgrown them. I fear everything peanut-related. I can be around it, I just can't eat it. Um, so, it's like, it varies every once in a while. Oh, I can just fuck this one forget I'm still streaming. I don't know why. <laughs> um, smell the food cooking. He came in running. <laughs> he did. Food is very, very good. Because it's like, it's 3.22 p.m. right now. And we started around like 1. So we've been live for almost two and a half hours. And that's usually how long it takes us to cook food in this house anyway. Um, but it works. Usually we got music, dancing. Yeah. Anyway, um, so what do you all, like, what do you all like to do when you're cooking in the kitchen? Do you play music, uh, cook in silence, watch or listen to movies or TV while cooking? What do you all do in the kitchen? What's your favorite thing? And do you, do you cook alone or with somebody? Chicken is back and it's taking over my lap. You cannot move now. The cat takes over. <laughs> Oh, good. Is that my kitty? <laughs> Mia. So, two cups of rice, three cups of broth for um, 15 minutes is what it says on the preset. Instapot. Yeah, it's preset. Oh, and it's all preset, too, on the Instapot. We keep saying two cups of rice, but it's... Um, two cups of rice, three cups of broth. Yeah. That ain't two cups of rice, but you put in there. Two of those? Two of those scoops? Or that, that one? That one So you put two of those in? Yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Wait, 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 sir, let to my theater tenor playlist, please send that. I usually cook alone, but my kids join, so that way we can learn how to cook. That's good. Did they make their school lunches? <laughs> Probably so. That's how I learned. I like there I like there being noise in the house, which is always is. And you know, it helps. It ha it passes the time. Um, I prefer to cook alone and watch and listen to a show like Judge Judy. I haven't watched or heard of Judge Judy in a long time. Isn't she like an actual judge now? Or something? I can't remember. Um I struggle cooking, but I put it on Twitch when I'm making something. It helps. I think it like honestly having something in the background helps, especially if you're cooking something, like watching a cooking show. I podcast. Mmm, podcasts are also good too. Recommendations always welcome. <laughs> you need the whole kitchen. I need a whole kitchen to cook too sometimes. But yeah, any podcast recommendations also help too. 
Oh, I have to do a, a really cool plug. Oh, yeah. Finding Me, Viola Davis. <gasps> yes. I just completed the audio book. There are no words. Get the book or yeah, listen or to good. it on Audible. <laughs> All right, we've now had the rib test. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's very good. Um, <laughs> um, but Viola Davis has an, a new audio book that's really good. She has another show on a freebie that you've been watching. Oh. Have I ever listened to Oli Jeans? No. I haven't heard that one before. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a podcast or like a music? I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, holiday Meals Everyone Helps. Usually a good movie in the background. That's good. Mm. Um, I think it depends on like what I think if it's, a, it's a, if it's a show or a movie that I've seen so many times, I just, I have it in the background just listening. And I hardly pay attention to what, what's happening in the show. Oh, it's a science podcast. Ooh. You know, the only science podcast I've ever listened to was something about Bill Nye, the science guy. And that's pretty much it. That's been my only uh, adventure into the science part of things. But that's a good one. And science was my favorite subject in high school. Really? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I was over here. Um, zombie, welcome in. How are you doing today? It is good seeing you. We are having a chill, fun time in the kitchen. We're honestly we're winding down to the last wee thirty minutes of our existence. <laughs> We're right now just kind of getting prepped for um, the the rice is being cooked. Brown rice and the, it's the pie. Yeah, and the pie as well. Oh, it's similar. Mm. Fast and, and still good. Yeah, because I think honestly, like we said it before, like the instant pot is like a really worthy investment. Like if you can't really cook, cook the instant pot is like the best way to learn how to cook without cooking, if that makes sense, on like on the stove. Um, you only watch Matt Pat and he helps me break down context in a way like Bill Nine could, never could. Bill Nine had his moments. I stopped watching him after I got out of junior high and then I'm like, oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of these people, the um, Olajis. That's probably completely wrong, but I feel like I've seen these people before. Thank you for the recommendation, by the way. Yeah. Hmm. Bill Nine, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Man, those were the days. Life was, honestly, life was more simpler back then, I figured. Um, but yeah, if you're popping in and you don't know what we're cooking today, um, you can do exclamation point recipes in the chat to know, but we have vegan sweet potato pie. We also have, um, egg roll in a bowl. We have ribs and now we're also making, um, brown rice in the Instapot. The ribs and the rice were all Instapot recipes. Very easy to make. Um, the pie was very simple to make because we've done it before. And then the egg roll in a bowl is like an everyday thing. <laughs> that my mom makes a lot so it's good i mean hey if it ain't broke don't fix it plant-based plant-based all plant-based oh you did okay good i'll check it um we also got cookies out of the oven Ooh, cookies nice who made cookies dab you rock dab bring them over yeah, email them. <laughs> email the no, cookies over. Dab's yeah, not that far away from us anyway, so she can yeah. just drive over. Oh, how was the concert? Did she go yet? Um, no, it's in August. Okay, oh, I got excited. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, but yeah, Dan's coming over in October, not October, August, for our Jonas Brothers concert, so that's happening. Oh, the Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. Oh, Taylor Swift. Oh, that's July 7th. Um, Your sister rocks. <laughs> The teacher I had put uh, put that on, it didn't make sense to me at all. So I usually go to MatPad to help me break down. That helps. I think, honestly, like, with YouTube videos, they really help, like, break down a lot of things that normally you can't learn in school, I guess. Once the science teacher had us watch all Bill Nye and everyone went insane. Like, in a good way or a bad way. Because I know a lot of people say Bill Nye and the Science Guy is crazy. Um... But I think, like, the earlier videos were much better, at least to me. And also the big shorty thing for the follow. Um, blue bear, banana blueberry bread. Ooh. Mm. That sounds really good. Hmm. <laughs> um, but no, October is, is TwitchCon. I got all the dates mixed up. Um, but Dad's gonna be here in, in August for Jonas Brothers concert. And I was like, wait, you'll be here? Well, visit me. <laughs> um, but no, I'm going to TwitchCon in October. And if anyone's going to TwitchCon, I'll be there. Pretty much 99% of, the, of all the simmers will be there that you all watch on Twitch. They'll be there. Um, the reunion. So it'll be really fun. Because I haven't, I've never been to TwitchCon before, so it'll be my first time. It'll be in Las Vegas this year. Um, the international one is in Paris, and I think that one's in July. Oh, you made your dad's grandma. Oh, oatmeal chocolate chip. I think we have a recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Oop, not that. This one. Yeah, we have a recipe for this one. <laughs> oatmeal cookies. But welcome in, uh, uh, Vic Shorty. I hope you're doing well. We're currently, um, in the kitchen, baking up a storm, cooking a lot of things. We made, um, egg roll in a bowl. We also made, um, vegan sweet potato pie. Um, ribs and brown rice in the Instapot. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good things today and we also been been raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We're only $60 away from hitting our um, next goal of $6.4,000. So it's been pretty good. But I'm so excited though for TwitchCon. I'm going on the, the, I'm leaving on the 18th and I'll be there until like the 23rd or something like that. So I'm gonna be there for a long time. Um, Cause I wanted to go to the partner party that's the following day, so might as well. My bed is getting taken over by all the cats and kittens we have. We're stuck now. We can't move. You can't move. Those are the rules. <laughs> um, oh, someone said hello. Muscular combust. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm eating a protein ball right now. <laughs> While we wait, you know, um, It'll be, I don't know if I'll probably, I don't think I'll stream at TwitchCon because that would just be awkward. Um, I don't want to. Oh, she's going? Hi, oh, yeah. Kenya? Yeah, Kenya's going. Uh, Kenya's going. Uh, I'm going. A few of my friends are going. Dab, unfortunately, can't go. That would be fun, though. She could go. She just needs money. That's it? Yeah, just money. Fun Fundraise, fundraise. I do love smoothies. I make a lot of fruit smoothies a lot. Um, strawberry, blueberry, banana, pineapple type smoothies. I haven't made one in a while. I need to buy some more um, fruit from the store. I need the monies. Um, but yeah, I am doing good. We've had a very long day. We've been streaming since 1 and it's 3.33 p.m. right now. Things have been going good. Cannot complain. Also, Laura, hello. Um, and honestly, so with TwitchCon, they're going to be streaming like 
some of like the panels and events um, this year, like they do every year, so you'll be able to watch them on Twitch without physically being there. I might vlog while I'm there, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, you want to go, but it doesn't look like I will afford it either. You know what? Next year. Next year will be our hurrah of going to TwitchCon. I wanted to be in the Midwest because that's just crazy. Las Vegas is expensive and flying in there is ridiculous. Like 600 something dollars to fly there. So I'm going to fly into LA. It's like 300 something dollars cheaper. Um... Oh, what kind of protein balls is it? I've gotten some protein powder and I need to use it up. What? Mm. what? Is it that? It's actually... Um, it's the same name of that. But mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's uh, the protein ball. This is a quick, and they put out a protein, and we actually use almond butter in the mix. Almond butter and honey. Almond butter and honey. So they're quite good. This is the quick way of doing them. I have a recipe um, that's all plant-based <laughs> mm -hmm. that uses um, dates, honey, sesame seeds, black seed, all good with almond butter. Or I choose to use almond butter. I've used sunflower butter. That was good too. Mm-hmm. TwitchCon can be really fun. It depends on like your preference. I am a, a much more of an introvert, so I don't like a lot of crowds either. Um, but it ultimately depends. I have a social bar of an infant where I can be in a social environment for as long as two hours and then I want to go home. I will, I'll immediately get like more like, I'm, I'm not bored, I'm just like mentally drained. That's what I get. I get mentally drained from social interaction. And I'm like, I want to go home and take a nap. <laughs> Love all the people, but I got to, I got to, I got to sleep. I need to recharge my social battery like a sim. I'm literally a sim. I can only go for two hours. I'm like, nope, got to go home, recharge the battery, talk to myself and I'll be fine. <laughs> um, that'd be hilarious. I, yeah, too many people is what I call it. Yeah, too many people in. I'll have to. It looks good. Oh, here it is. I forgot when we put that again. Um, we're almost there. We got about another 15 minutes on the pie. Oh, okay. And we have seven minutes for the rice. Okay, so basically. You'll see it all. Yeah. You can only do crowds if my friends are with me. Same. It's like too many people around me. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I can only handle if my friends are with me. If not, then like I'm, I'll just stand there like an awkward person in the eighth grade standing in a corner, not knowing what to do. I'll just stand like, I'm just here. And I'll just insert myself into the conversation. Like, oh yeah, cool. And then I'll walk away. Because I don't know how to bring up a conversation if I don't know the people or how to um, figure out how to, like, make it, like, a topic happen. If they don't know anything about like, the Sims or, like, streaming or, um, or actually anything, like, I don't know what to say. So. You just said it, anything. Yeah. Put it out there and maybe they want to know or maybe they don't know either and that's how the conversation starts. Yeah. It's not always what you know, it's what you don't know and somebody asks the question. Yeah. What are your thoughts on AI? What are your thoughts about that? What is that chat GPT? Oh yeah, chat GPT. Um, do you feel, what are your thoughts on, and you know, the more controversial the topic, the more you, you know. it depends how people... Um, will react to the question. But or if, if you ask a thought-provoking where they have to pause for a minute, say, you know what? I don't know anything. I hear about that, but what is that? Mm -hmm. You start basic, and you tell them what you know. And you lead with that and say, well, what I know or I have experienced, that way no one can tell you, well, that's not right. Well, I told you this is what I know and what I have experienced. And then you can always have great conversations with that, telling them what you know about the topic. 
and not about I heard, I heard, because I heard leads to, well, who said it? Well, I don't know. It's just random. I just caught a tweet or I just saw it on Instagram. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. So I always start with what I know and what I've experienced and ask the question about it. Does anybody know or has anyone experienced? That's the way you ask it. Has anyone experienced work with AI or chat GPT? Yeah. And if they say yes or no, they say, oh, me either. Just was curious. Also, chicken, think of the follow, by the way. One of my, whenever my parents force me to do school dances, I always stand there in the corner uncomfortably. <laughs> I don't think I've, I've never been to a school dance on, on, well, my only dance was my prom and that was it. Everything else I did show choir or I stayed inside and played Sims. Good night. Also, um, a, a queen K. Yeah. A, I like a, that. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I really yeah. appreciate that. Enjoy your appreciate rest. Appreciate you. See you next time. I'll be live again tomorrow. Oh, I, I'll have to post a schedule in the Discord um, after stream so you all know what's going on. Um, but most likely... Um, oh my gosh, my phone's going to die. Got 5%, no wonder. That app is ringing. Um, but tomorrow, most likely, I'll be live. Let me check before I even try and remotely even think. My mods know what my schedule is, but I always forget. Um, oh yeah, so tomorrow, I, I will be live again tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central. We're going to finish our hospital build that we started working on at the beginning of the month. So we're going to finish that tomorrow morning. Um, we're doing a double stream tomorrow. So... I'll just tell you. Oh, 10 and 6? Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically... Central. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. we'll finish our hospital build. And then at 10 a.m. Central. And then at night, on the same day, we're going to be doing the 7 infant challenge in The Sims 4. But my mods are the infants, and I have charity incentives that day. So be on the lookout for that for tomorrow but for the most part yeah hospital build in the morning seven infant challenge at night um and then on tuesday i'm gonna be restarting my animal crossing island on on tuesday in the morning and then my all purple build in the teletubby costume that same day, but at night at 6 p.m. I don't know, but you'll see the schedule in the Discord of what it is, but not, nonetheless, we'll be streaming double for the next two days, and then probably an all-day stream on Wednesday to end up the charity stream, so lots going on. <laughs> lots going on. It's going to be really funny, though. It's going to be really funny with all the craziness and chaos don't let me get taken away i'll try not to if chat donates a certain amount of money it might happen it might happen who knows but i've i've done the seven toddler challenge before but i've never done the seven infant challenge before because we're currently doing the 100 baby challenge right now um so it's a little bit crazy I didn't think infants would be that hard, but they really are. But my mods are going to be the infants tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central. That's going to be fun. My Baby mod... Dad. Huh? Baby dad. Everyone. <laughs> dad, Savvy, Garrett, Sammy, Peach, Sweet. all the people. Also... I want to be an infant. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. <laughs> also, Smith and Kitten, thank you for the $5. That was weird. For the five dollar donation, by the way, to Saint Jude, I really appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, infants do scare me too. They're kind of terrifying. I'm kind of sad they got rid of the um, the hissing glitch because that one was iconic. They could have left it alone. The hissing was fine the way it was, even though it was horrifying. It was fine. Oh, the rice is done. 
I'm excited for the chaos this week. But yeah, the rice is all left alone. Um, I know. I'm kind of sad it got it went away, but it was terrifying. I'm like, why is this child hissing at me? But I wish he kind of kept it though. Like I miss the hissing, and I miss like you know that head turn glitch that we had going on. Like every time you would pause your game, your Sim's head would turn. I kind of miss it. I don't know why. I like my game being crazy for no reason. <laughs> Please bring the hissing child back. But I'm glad that they are fixing a few things though in the game. Like they're fixing washer and dryers. I think they're fixing like some of the photos and stuff like that too. So it's gonna be really nice. The, the infants hiss at me like my cat, no. Um, it was very iconic. I think they should bring it back for Halloween. Just for like the lows, for like scary things. <laughs> It was weird and funny because they had no teeth or like they ha they barely had teeth, but it was very funny. Do you think a modder could re-add it to the relationship game back? Probably so. It's pretty simple to like add it back. So I think so. Probably a modder will do it. I don't know who, but someone will. I wonder when they'll do the update. Um... When they did this challenge, Momo and Simzy each had a baby taken away and Caleb was somehow thriving. Yeah, I was watching that and I found that very funny. I'm like, how? Can't do it like Caleb was so calm. I'm like, how is that possible? I'm stressed out. Um, but I feel like I predict... Actually, we should make a prediction, by the way, since we're here while we're waiting for the pie to be done. Um... Do you think I'll get a, a child taken away tomorrow? Yes or no? Because I feel like it could happen. In three hours? I don't, I don't know. Um, I thought it was still in the laundry list. Yeah, they're still trying to fix a few things, like the laundry and stuff like that. Um, I don't know when the update's going to be, but they said they're going to fix it at some point. One of these days. Oh, my. See, I, I'm only using one monitor, and I'm like, wow, there's so much on my screen. You could do it on purpose for charity. That is true. I could do it on purpose for charity. Um, I do have incentives, which I'm going to find again. Where'd it go? What did Deb send me? Oh, yeah. So basically, I do have incentives. For tomorrow that stuff could happen where I could ignore an infant for five hours for $15 or like place an infant outside for one hour for $1 the more that you keep adding the more hours are gonna be outside <laughs> so it's gonna be kind of funny get a baby taken away <laughs> to save the children you know that could be like uh, a $30 donation to St. Jude or 25 I don't know I'll, I'll let you all know tomorrow <laughs> but yeah if y'all want to vote in, in the prediction of do you think I'll get a child taken away yes or no there's also an ad playing so you can barely hear me if you're in, in an ad um, oh people got faith in me oh that's very nice I appreciate that Oh, we said this month or it's a Tuesday for the update. Okay. So. Yeah. I would say Tuesday. Tuesday update and then we'll probably get something else later. Maybe. Okay, I can I can be done with it. Whoa! I, I thought you all had faith in me. I take back what I said. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I see what you're all up to nowadays. My poor infant was crying in her crib while her parents were asleep because I was focused on the stream and forgot the game. Oh, no. Huh? What's that? Mm. Oh, why do I see? Hmm. Interesting. My infant bit her mom like 200 times once and she was trying to feed her. I, you know... I remember when they had the Growing Together trailer 
I was like, hmm, this could be interesting. I want to have my child kick their parent in the shin for no reason. I think it'd be funny. You didn't vote. Thank you, Coupon. You're one of the real ones. <laughs> You're one of the real ones. What is this? Oh, over here. Um, we had no idea what my kitten was called because I was never experienced or had a kitten like my cat. Um, but hopefully the photo was better understanding the Discord. Oh, probably so. I missed a few messages today. I am so sorry. There's been a lot going on. But I will check the Discord, though. Um, later today. Oh, savvy. Hmm. Interesting. 2004 no from me so far. Thank you. Interesting. Savvy. <laughs> You're fine. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, you just got done deep cleaning your room and I'm proud of yourself. Very good. Honestly, in the past three hours, we've done a lot of stuff today. We've cooked four different things. Pie, egg roll in a bowl, ribs, and rice. We've done so much. Save the kids. It's for St. Jude. Save the children. The kids need saving. I'm hoarding my points and I will not vote. Very good. Very good. You know, your points could be spent during an interesting thing called crowd control. At some point, um, could happen. Um, where's my thing at? I can't find it. Having one monitor is so weird. I can barely see anything on this screen. I swear it's not even funny. Okay. Nonetheless. Dad won't be funny either. Oh, that's interesting. I get sick, I lose my sense of humor. Same. When I, Honestly, I don't know why, but whenever I get sick too, I lose my sense of humor and be like, ooh, I'm, I don't want to do anything. I'll just like lay around. Oh yeah, crowd control. Um, you've probably seen it before where we like had uh, chat take over my game and Sims were like dying from fire. I was gonna say uh, something about being hungry, but it would but it wouldn't have sounded like I was. Uh, oh, talking about the kids. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Oh my gosh, I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything since like. 10, 10 a.m. But honestly though, eating it around this time is like perfect for me. I don't know what we're gonna watch. Well, while we're waiting, do you have any suggestions on any movies or TV shows to watch today? Since it is Memorial Day or Memorial Day weekend, any suggestions to watch while we wait? Oh my goodness. Pie is almost done. Oh, uh, when you're sick, I'm so down that I don't want to move. I just want to see anybody except use the bathroom. Same. Um, ooh, gotta scroll up, sorry. Um, 911. I could watch that one. How many seasons are there of that show, by the way? Also, Maya, thank you for the follow. New season of MasterChef started this past Wednesday. Ooh. Is that the one with Gordon Ramsay or is that different? Nah, re replay 1988 is good K-drama. I do love K-dramas. I do love a good K-drama. Uh, From is a good thriller drama. Ooh. P I love being Puppy Cat. I want that to come back so badly. I need a new season. I love that show. <laughs> Let someone was keeping on the pie. I was not paying attention at all. Let me... Let me get a notepad out since I'm here. Okay, so you said 1988, 
911 from Okay. I do need to watch Parasite though. Oh, six seasons right now? Okay. Oh, we made sweet potato um or vegan sweet potato pie is what we made. Gordon and a few chefs. Okay. Master Chef. I've always said I wanted to be a master chef, but then I realized I didn't want to cry. So I decided against it. <laughs> Oh, from if you have a strong stomach. Oh, yeah, I, I'm i okay with that. I've seen so many horror thriller movies in my lifetime that I'm okay with it. Not yet. Let me check my phone. 11%. Wow. Supercharging icing. Um... If Gordon Ramsay screamed at me, I would cry as well. I would be okay with it. I would allow him to call me an idiot sandwich. Oh, I checked the pie. Oh, Sam's beautiful. Yeah, I have more. That's yeah. it. Five more minutes and then the pie is done. Is she going to be orange struggling on? Probably. We're just talking about movies and TV shows right now, like what we cool. can look for. I'm uh, looking for some things for the summer. Yeah. I already have my Bible study picked out. I have two of them this summer. I'm excited about them. And so then, you know, we pick up with our family movies because usually we would eat and then we go to a movie on Sundays. Yeah. That's true. So the day he doesn't stream is family. Yes. And we still respect each other's space the other days of the week, whether we're working or chilling. Yeah. We're empty nesters, so we try to chill as much as possible. Oh, we could watch um, the Mario movie. That's I forgot about that one. Yes. I forgot about that movie. It came out recently. It's, it's, it's done pretty well from what I've seen in the box office. Like over a billion dollars, so it must be doing great. Ow. I can't wait till you guys take these wonderful family trips and personal trips that you're taking, whether it's vacation or getaways or family vacations. Can't wait to see how you and your family celebrated um, you this summer. The Conjuring. Those are pretty cool. I've seen all of them. They're not bad. The Conjuring. Those horror movies. Um, I try, I'm doing less <laughs> horror now. I think I'm getting squeamy. I'm not phased. I've seen so many at this point. Them that's not phased no more. I'm like, oh, wow. I find them very cheesy nowadays. Because I feel like they overdo do some horror movies sometimes. And I'm like, that's not necessary. Why not go back to the like, like the 1980s and 90 horror movies? Those were actually scary. Well, we'll have to go back. We're almost <laughs> living them almost now. But I think that's why I'm not really a horror person. I'm more of a sci-fi, little fantasy, you know, if it's done well. Oh, we did watch the um, Star Trek movies, or the, the one yesterday. CBS at the movies is coming back. Yeah. yeah. That's an old classic, by the way. Charleston tomorrow was your spouse. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pancakes. South Charleston, South Carolina. I'm looking forward to the fall and winter. It's too hot. I have no AC at home. Oof. Oh, that's oh. hard. Yeah. Oh, it is South Carolina. Okay. Is that family or just a place you guys want to go to? Either way is good. I don't know if my parents are going to watch the new Five Nights at Freddy movie in October. What is it? Five Nights at Freddy. It's like um, animatronics gone wrong. <laughs> it's like you're a security guard and it's nighttime and um, the animatronics come to life and try to um, uh, kill you. So it's a little bit crazy, but I don't know if you'll ever watch that one. 
Um, oh, Thunderdome, yeah, it really was, even when it came out back when. Um, Alien, Alien was a good one. Yay for the mini vacation. Do that thing, you're worth it. I get that a lot, Lady Elite. Me and my mom look exactly alike. Oh, the light. okay. We do. We look very similar. It's the smile, it's the smile. Oh, I heard, um, I need to watch Thanks, the Lady new, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Um, any readers out there while he's thinking? I'm always looking for another good book. Oh, Fast and Furious, never tell. I need oh, to, yeah. I need to watch all those films. Me too. I've never... Well, I have seen one, but it's been so long ago. I really need to watch it and so I can be up to date. When does that one come out or is it already? I think it's already out, but I need to watch the old ones. Cause I, I think you have to watch all the other ones to kind of make them make sense. But I don't know. There's a lot of movies that have so many sequels. Like they say, oh, you don't have to watch any of them. But then you have to watch all of them. But Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was. I used to love reading when I was in school, and I want to get back to that. And I really love books on Audible because I tend to doze off. Must be the empty nester <laughs> syndrome, but I ain't shame. But it's not that the book is boring. It's just that my body just requires rest periods. So you know, babies take naps. I think I'm reverting back to that. Anyway, another conversation, another day. But. Put you, you know, put the books that you've read that you think I would like. I'm, I'm kind of being open. I'm not restricting it to what I normally read as a uh, tutor, trainer, uh, life coach, accountability life coach, by the way. Um, I'm more always instructional type books or self help books, um, faith books, Christian books. I read constantly. I need a little break from that. That's why I'm going back to just reading the Bible and enjoying that very much so. So my Bible studies are going to support that type of reading, not so much topical kind of things, but I'm open. And I just like to know what everybody's reading. That's how you strike up good conversations too. If I read what you're reading, we can talk about it. And don't forget, authors need reviews. That's the only way if it's good, we need to tell them so they keep doing that. If it's not so good, doesn't mean that there, it was a bad book, but maybe it didn't interest you. It helps them too. That's true. They look for that kind of, and be constructive and considerate, but be truthful because that's the only way they get to be better writers or maybe they need to target it to that audience that would appreciate that writing. Remember, just because we read it doesn't mean and we didn't like it didn't mean that there's not an audience out there. That's true. Also, Lancelot, hello. Um, hey! I've read all the Diary, Diary of Bumpy Kid books. Um, I've seen all the movies, too. Um, and what was my... Um, tell It by Ginger? or Told by Ginger? To oh, my gosh. Ginger was my girl. I feel like Told by Ginger was, ahead, told of, by Ginger, was yeah. ahead of its time. For oh, the show. it was. I feel like if it was made now, it would be well received. Absolutely. Maybe we revive it. That'd be nice. I think I'll go back to that. I love Nancy Drew. I love the Hardy Boys. I loved mystery books like that. So maybe that get people writing again, those type of things. But yeah, told by Ginger, she was real. She was authentic. And she did it without apology. I love Ginger. Cruel Prince. Anything by Brandon Sanderson, James okay, Patterson. Okay, there we go. James Patterson has really good books. Yes, he does, and I don't know why. Maybe this is a time I need to just pick one and try him out. I know he's a very popular, and mo some of his are movies also. Um, so you don't know until you try it, Annetta, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Ooh, fantasy books. Hmm. They deal with serious real life issues and mental health and Political trauma. theory. Mm. Mm. Okay. We definitely love Dork Diaries. I've never heard of Dork Diaries before. I've heard of Captain Underpants. 
Oh, that one. I've seen that, and I did. I thought maybe that's not for me. Wild. Who was that that was reading political theory? Um, I think. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I go? Oh, I went wrong. There was a sorry. no. There was a raid. <laughs> oh, who raided us? Lance a lot. Lance. Hello. How are you doing today, friend? It's good seeing you. Hope you're doing well today. We've been cooking in the kitchen for the past three hours now, cooking up a storm. Um, I'm with my parents, my mom's here, my dad's in, in the living room, but we've been cooking uh, vegan sweet potato pie. Um, yes. Oh, here's a knife. Um, ribs and egg roll in a bowl and brown rice in the Instant Pot. But we're also raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital today. Um, we're I'm actually, your kid. Yes. We're getting very close to our three point four thousand dollar goal. We're like sixty dollars away. Um, but hopefully you're streaming really well. What were you all up to? I would love to know. Um yeah, yes, definitely go raid and run, do all your post stream stuff. Thank you again for hanging out with us. We'll definitely have to check out some fantasy books for sure. Um Thank you. But I appreciate so so much. Um yeah, welcome, welcome in, friends. I hope you're all doing well. If y'all don't know, my name is Spring Sims. I play a lot of The Sims on Twitch, mainly. Um, but occasionally, like, once a month, we'll do, like, cooking streams here on Twitch and have a little fun time in the kitchen for a change and kind of get back into the groove. Oh, our pie! Look, everyone, our pie! Our pie! It's all done! The pie is completely done. It's all, you can move it here. It's a vegan sweet potato pie. If you want to know uh, the recipe, you can just do X Mission Point recipes in the chat. But vegan sweet potato pie. It took about an hour or an hour and a half to make, but it was worth it. Um, oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. It took us three hours to make uh the pie the rice the ribs and everything else i think i can show you um that's because we were chatting with you too so but yeah. as you can see they're very quick recipes and when you have everything and you prep knock it out and you see our crust if you go back and watch this it wasn't the prettiest crust when we were making it but look how it came out and i'm telling you it is delicious a very easy crust Eat it. You know that's the best way, but if you don't, you can always um, use the soft melt on the microwave and get it right there. Put some whip on it. Actually, I've been using Greek yogurt in place of... Okay, where am I? Oh, you're over there. Yeah, there's the ribs. And that is our egg roll in a bowl. Yeah. My dad makes the ribs. My mom made the egg roll in a bowl, and uh, we all made the pie together, so it was really fun. Yeah, well that's what we did. But yeah, I'm glad you all like it. It was really fun like just being able to um, do this together as a family, but also just being able to just to have some fun for a change and do something a little different. Yeah, but I, re Ooh, I am so sorry. Um, but I really enjoy these cooking streams. They really, one, allow me to like try something new and also um, <laughs> also um, eat good food at the same time. Social rest. Yes. Um, so I think what we're going to do, we'll save for the clip for tomorrow because we have a lot going on tomorrow. I'll post the, the new schedule at after this stream so you all know what's going on for the rest of the week thanks for um, for st jude because our charity ends MJ. on wednesday and we are having a lot of plans this week so it's gonna be really fun but thank you all so much for hanging out with me uh lancelot thank you again for the raid and seeing your lovely kid oh, over here there's another one hmm? is there another raid you know i'm still learning oh no this. those are our emotes so oh, that's, oh. that's what we use to uh, send to somebody else um, squad y'all the best <laughs> y'all the best but I think we should go on a bit of a raidy raid and send some love over oops to another good streamer friend of mine and I would love to send you all over 
to my Kitty good creative love you friend, girl. um, Shella. I never get to write Shella ever, so I will go send some over to her. It's actually gonna be her last stream for a while, so we're gonna send her some good vibes thank for you, our Master. last stream. Oh, Master Blas. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you enjoyed. <laughs> Wait. Wait, is this her yellow stream? Is this what it is? <laughs> is this her yellow stream? No, it's not. She's not a yellow. Who's Maybe the, next. Purple. Love her. Might be the next stream. Either way, that's okay. <laughs> but let's go write my good friend Shella and send all, all the Planet hype. Kenya. Uh, the hype and the love in the world to her. She's a really good friend of mine. She's also raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Hey. Um, doing some really good work over there. You'll definitely love the vibes. Loves yellow, loves lobsters. Um, it's just a, a very kind, genuine human that you all definitely will learn to love if you have not followed Chella. She's currently playing the Sims and Bloom Challenge right now, um, part 21. But nonetheless, I will see you all tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central. We're going to be finishing our hospital build in The Sims 4 um, for St. Jude. And then uh, later that day, we'll be doing the Seven Infant challenge in the sims 4 as well later that night um but thank you all for hanging out with me thank you all for the raids and the donations for the saint jude and i will see you all Coupon next it. time bye bye <laughs>